me start the recordings. All right, so, um, you three bears are in a um, wildlife refuge. I don't know why a polar bear. What was the other characters? A panda and a grizzly. A panda and a grizzly. Okay, I don't know why there would be a panda and a polar bear in this. Gotta be a zoo. We also like like say the you guys were at a zoo. Magic. Let's just do the zoo. The zoo or, that I found is three hours works. away from this place, but that's fine. We just what if we there. Yeah. What if we okay. broke away from like an exotic, uh, like Tiger King sort of rich yeah, asshole? Yeah, a, a, a rich person's menagerie, yeah. a legal menagerie. Yeah. <laughs> we just broke out of a. Uh, I like feel like a, that's yeah, what El Chapo's in the first place, right? Villa. Yeah. We okay. learned it from watching him. All right, so you broke out of somewhere, and you have convened at this wildlife preserve, um, and you stumble upon a flyer um, for Honeycon 2023. You can read for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Did you Google prominent honey people to put on this speaker's list? Um. Look. <laughs> Just wondering. <laughs> it also takes. Anyway, so, th yeah, you know, let, let's deep dive into this, all right? All of these people are cited um, on a uh, paper that I read about honey. Um, so they're all honey scientists, basically. Um, I mean, I will just... Also, North Dakota, which is where this this Honeycon is taking place, is the number one um, producer of honey in the states. There you go. Bear so, similitude. And there is a a uh, zoo that has various bears in it, three hours away from this place. I like it. Yeah, we we broke out with the intention of uh, living yeah. out our days peacefully at the reserve, but then uh, but then you stumbled what blows along into this, our yeah. this flyer, um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys start talking from there. But so you have this flyer. You do you do you can read. Um, otherwise, this wouldn't make any sense. None of this makes it. I mean, none of it makes any sense. <laughs> You're wearing hats for some reason. So you you found those hats at some point. Um, you're very intelligent bears. Let's just go that way out. Um, but yeah, so you got this. You're at a reserve. Um, you don't know how far away it is, um, but you know you probably need a car. Hmm. And and just to be clear, I, just a little backstory. Bob, what is your role? Uh, thief. Wow. He's he's a like... rookie panda thief named Fu Chonglin. That's racist. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I mean, I guess so is Nanook the polar cowboy. <laughs> it's the word for polar bear. I don't uh, see how that's okay. racist. Well, okay, fair. Let, let, fair. Let's actually do a from China. introduction here. So yeah. rookie panda thief. Yeah, so, so you three can talk to each other. So you do your th yeah. introductions. You just can't yeah. speak. You can't speak human. You can speak bear. I mean, so I I think these introductions are meta because I feel like we we both we all broke out of the same rich man's menagerie, so we know each other, right? Fair. Yeah. So we can just like rewind time to okay that like flashback to when you guys all met um, and decided to break out. I think, okay. I would. Not to not to be pedantic about it, but if we were in a place where we, it would be more like a like a great escape thing. Like we met, knew each other, worked out a plan over time, broke out much right. later, but are already like right well so acquainted all, yeah, at this point. Yeah, so you're well acquainted, but uh, tell us how you got acquainted. Okay, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it would uh, likely be. Whoever was dropped in last, I assume Bob Dole, if he is the rookie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And we would be, like, the old timers slightly more, just giving them the lay of the land. Like, yeah, you know. Hey, what's going on, rookie? I need a better nickname <laughs> than your actual role. I was going to say slick, but that's technically my role. <laughs> so, hey, new kid. You know. Hey, uh, you want one of them? their pandas, right? I gotta be a cowboy, right? <laughs> like, oh, 
Oh man, we we haven't had a panda bear around here in these parts. Uh, hope you don't need any sort of special habitat. We kind of just get what get what bro blows through the bars here. I need I've been... bamboo. <laughs> I don't see any bamboo. I've been dying for a swim myself, but uh, hey, you know, people in hell want ice water, right? So, you... listen, what 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 should I call you? What what's your name, buddy? Yeah, I was... anyway, I'm I'm Nenu. Put her there, pal. I don't know if I can actually reach how far apart these cages would it's be. It's a but... very bad zoo. The cages are right next to each other. It's not, they, it just has a big sign that just says bears. It doesn't bear. There's not like a polar bear section or a panda section. It's just yep. bears. bears. And then, and then um, uh, in, in like a fourth cage, or a, let's say a few cages down, there's also a, a red panda, and it just says bear with a question mark next to it. <laughs> that's not. That's not one of mine. That's. I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> that's. Seems, seems like they were going for the discount panda there. It's like. Hey, my, hey, 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 buddy. My 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 name is. Uh, well, they, I'm not gonna tell you what my real name is, but I'll tell you. Uh, you know what 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 my friends call me. My friends call me Blorpius. 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 I'm a. Uh, something of a, a, a famous. Genius hacker, they call me the king of the bear hackers, uh, as you can tell. And I like tip my crown to him, by the way. It's an obnoxious crown, it's it's clearly fake. And it first, is first of all, where, where did you get that crown? And second of all, was a hacker? I got I got my crown by being the best. I don't, I don't think you know what it means to be the best, buddy. Do they do they have the best over there? I'm the best at uh, birthday, hack, like hacking off a, a tree limb. What? what do you mean? The actually, as an aside, I actually, what kind of hacker is this being by the way? <laughs> bear hacker. I've just gone with this that I somehow like am a bear who knows technology, but what am I? You're, I, you're, I think okay. that's it. Yeah, you're you're a bear hacker. You learned hacking at some point. Um, Hell yeah. It up along the way. Um, again, we, we have determined that you can read, so maybe you, you read um, the novelization of the movie Hackers. I Listen, I, I met... A young man in the Pacific Northwest a long time ago. His name was Timothy. Uh, he wanted to get to know me a little bit better. Uh, he had a weird lifelong fascination with bears. Uh, I, you know, I ultimately did. Uh, in exchange, he taught me what he knew about the human world and hacking. Uh, there was a documentary about um, our relationship. It was. I mean, frankly, slanderous to all bears, uh, if, if you kind of have ever heard of the Grizzly Man story. I I, I feel like we did not get a fair shake in that, but, you know, Wait, I got a reputation you're, you're, from you're, that. You're that, you know, uh, you're that bear from that movie? I don't know. What you, listen, the, the whole story was fake, so it doesn't matter what bear I am. Does it, matter that I, the, it doesn't matter that I hung out with them. It doesn't matter what they found. This again. Trust me, I've heard this before. The guards over there, they used to leave the TV on at night, and we've seen all kinds of movies and TV shows, and yeah. Man, humans really Where think some, some strange from? bullshit it, about bears. Is it pretty messed up that the humans watch Grizzly Man on repeat at the zoo? I, I, <laughs> I the guy you wanted I to... You for him. <laughs> yeah, the young guy wanted to prove himself and make his way up from guard to, to zookeeper at some point, so he's he thinks he's learning about bears by watching all these movies, and... We got Grizzly Man, we got, uh, oh, what was that, uh, uh, uh Jungle Book. Got yeah, Jungle Book. No, there's another one where the bear eats a guy, and I can't remember where. I mean, yeah, let's be honest, the bears eat a lot of guys in these movies, right? <laughs> I was like, I ribbed the panda, new guy panda. Wait, so you didn't eat that guy? I mean, uh, Oh, the guy? Revenant, that's what I was thinking of. Which I love guy? that one. Uh, the guy taught you how to hack stuff. I mean, don't... I... What, this is... You're getting, you're getting caught up in human thoughts again. Don't, don't think about human thoughts, alright? Don't think about human thoughts. I mean, I have been thinking a lot less about eating bamboo and not fucking anything ever, and, uh, thinking about strange things. Like, why... Why are we... Why are we here? Why, why don't we leave? I don't like this place. Uh, Listen, well, now you're you got speaking dietary language. restrictions. They're never going to take care of you in here. You know? Trust me, we've been working on a plan for a while now, so... 
You want in? All you gotta do is ask. Uh, we could. I mean, what's <laughs> the we plan? Unroll a blueprint, and maybe it fades back to present day. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Or do right. we, so yeah, that's we need fine. to plan our yeah, break so, out of that. Place. So we fade back as you are reminiscing about how you met, and you hear a car. I hope the sound is good. That's a little jittery on my end. The so car goes by, parks. You hear a door open, and then you hear it close, and then you hear a per- footsteps of a person walking away. There's our ticket out of here. I could, we're just going to let this guy walk away. We don't need to like give him the Timothy treatment. Well, okay. Um, so yeah. I guess if we're we're back, like we've just found the flyer, it would be more like, I tell you what, you guys want in on this, uh, you want to hit this honey con? I feel like uh, our chariot just arrived. Is honey like bamboo? It's, oh, like, it's, it's like, it's like the Swedish bamboo. bamboo. If bamboo were liquid, it's like liquid bamboo, buddy. That's insane. I want all of it. And and if exactly. you guys haven't looked at the the flyer, um, it says sign up for the raffle for the prize of a lifetime ultra dense mega honey. Oh Jesus! Ultra dense mega honey. Yeah. That means that means it's on site somewhere for the raffle. At yeah. least I hope so. If we got a coupon for it off there'll, the raffle, that would be real. There'll be a lot of humans there. What can we? Are you going to eat them all, Morpheus? I mean, look, I see. If you listen to what the humans would tell you, I probably would. You make, you make a couple of mistakes and they just judge I didn't you. Really, I didn't really they answer all of us. my question. They judge all of us. I mean, you, see, you, you seem to be really uh, caught up with how humans uh, depict and perceive you as a some sort of psycho murderer, but everything you've told me I, kind of makes you sound I, like a psycho murderer. I, 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 we try not to talk about it. us grizzlies. We come from we, we're native to the United States. Okay, so, we're, we're native to North America. It, I, I see. I, I don't see a lot of bamboo here. You don't, you don't, you don't people even... judge in North America, and and look, I'm am I gonna bolt? Am I gonna buck their 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 perceptions? Yeah. Am I gonna sometimes lash out and meet their perceptions? Yeah. Then Nick, do you know how to drive a car? <laughs> Uh, you know what? I think I've seen enough TV that I can figure it out at this point. I say we figure out what's going on with that car. We either take the car ourselves or we convince them to drive us to Honeycon, which is probably not super valid as an option considering we are bears and they are human. I mean, there's going to be a human uh, communication gap if we try and... <laughs> I mean, if a human could drive a car, I don't see why we can... We... I don't. I don't see any any reason why we couldn't. Hell, yeah. yeah. I've seen, like I said, I've seen the move, the pedal on on this side, and I sort of gesture to the right without knowing the word per se. <laughs> like this side is the go side, and this side's the stop side. I see them. They slam on this one, and they oh, it stops, and then they hit them, and they go go. We watched a lot of these uh, Fast and Furious movies. You see, it looks a little it looks a little tight though. Are we, can we all fit in there? <laughs> I think that Dominic Toretto is part bear. Yeah. So yeah, what do we what do we see as we uh, approach the area where the car so, was? Where we so heard are it? you talking as you're approaching the car? Yes. Just okay. Sort of walking. So, so as you're as you are approaching the car, you see a trying to think of something. It's it's a four door sedan. Let's just say you're all gonna fit. This is gonna be too complex if you don't. It's it's a large four door. It's a you, you know what? It's a stupid American SUV. It's a really I'm a, big I'm a reasonable fucking size. GMC Yukon. I don't have any trouble fitting at all. Um, and uh, and um, as you, since you are talking to each other, uh, all the driver hears is bear sounds. Um, and he looks, sees you, all three of you coming. He's never seen this lineup of bears before at the same time. Uh, and he panics and he runs off down a path. Oh, he, he left the car for us. That's uh, about what I expected. So uh, if you watch all that TV, uh, Mister Ninu. Why are you? Why are you getting the the ah, sure, pilot yeah. seat? I will just open the hatch to the cockpit here, and uh, I shall assume captain's formation. <laughs> I'm just okay. Crawling in over the the front seat, not 
I'm I get not entirely the, sure how I'm going to make it. I get in the back and I look into like the, the back, like, uh, back, uh, sneak covers for bamboo. Can a bear drive a car? <laughs> I, I'd like to sniff in the car if there are any snacks, like a picnic basket or anything like that. Um, you smell like, you smell like leftover fast food. Like they, they eat in this car a lot, but you, oh. um, you can't find any. Oh, uh, I, I, I you just... know what? Yeah. As you sniff around, you find some like fries on the floor, like, oh, like that have just been dropped and you know, like in between the, the like console and where the seats are, there's a few. Oh, I, I know about that. <laughs> I start gnawing on, uh, some of the seat belts. Uh, I, uh... Yeah, okay. I, I think this is good. The key part I would probably have a little trouble with. But... There's so the key isn't in the car. You're going in and it's a push start, so you're going to have uh. to hotwire it. So I need you to make a criminal roll. <laughs> oh shit. I should have brought my actual dice, because I'm not in the roller channel. Well uh, you can roll in uh, I was just, in it's... here in the in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, you can just roll in um the honey ice channel. It should roll everywhere. If it doesn't, so let it. me know, because I can roll for you. I have dice. I have rolled a 1d6 and gotten a 1, which I believe is good no matter what, right? Because you're trying uh, to go under. Let's see. Um, two, 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 two. If it is equal or under to the relevant stat, you succeed. If it's over the stat, you fail. So what is your your criminal stat? We all start the, the, for everything. Yeah, that's what I had read. Okay, so yeah, so you're you're three for criminal, three for bear. That's right. Okay, so you'll have to keep track of that stuff um, for your characters. Uh, okay. Yeah, because now that I have succeeded, does that mean I move a point? Is that how it went? I need to double check the, um, the okay. handbook again. So let's see. Um, when the plan fails and you run into a difficulty, move one point from criminal into bear. When the plan goes off without a hitch, move one point from bear into a criminal. So this works. So you move one point. So bear goes to two, criminal goes to four. Okay, I think I'm going to type that into the channel. Just to be... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, I, so I can I try am... and keep track of it. Hold on. Turn a light on. I have lights, but my lights in this room are fucking terrible. So I'm at bear two criminal four. Is that what we just said? Two crim yeah, crim four. All right. Functional car. All right. Give me one second because I'm writing everybody down. All right, so I need a bigger desk. I mean, we can pause for a second while I complain about IKEA. If you want to hear my desk, we're gonna need anyway. a bigger desk, <laughs> like that, like that shark movie, but with bears. All right, so um, so you start the car up, um, and you, uh, so you have the address. <laughs> I have no this, idea right. how to navigate. So yes. you have the address. Um, in front of you is a is a screen that came up with a map, so it, it's it has the like iPad screen. This is a newer Yukon. They don't make those anymore. I'm pretty sure it's fine. <laughs> um, so so anyway, so you you could type in um, with your bear paws somehow uh, hey. the address that you have on the flyer. I I I, I hold my paw up and I say, hang on a second. Yeah, I'm letting. I got this, buddy. Uh, letting you handle this so I don't go too human, if you know what I mean. So uh, I, I say this. I've seen. I've seen this. Seen this in movies before, and I like. I like start pecking at the screen, and I. I input the address, or I attempt to input the address, and like as I push the button, I say, "I know this. This is a Unix system, <laughs> and like it, it is clearly not a Unix system. I'm clearly just say saying shit that I've heard like on movies that we've watched." And I attempt to put in the address. Just okay. assume that anything you type into is a quote Unix system. Um, because <laughs> yeah. because you are inherently a hacker, this works. I'm not going to make you roll. Nice. Um, the GPS comes on and says navigating route, and um, you are ready to go. Wow, you're the smartest bear I've ever met. 
You're the only two other bears I've ever met, actually. Yeah, but he's he's definitely the smart one. Sometimes. <laughs> Smarter yeah. than your average bear. <laughs> then I, what's that? What? I wink and then step on the gas. <laughs> All right. Holy so, shit. This is faster than I thought it would be. So, it not really give you a sense of speed in the movies. Bet you didn't expect me to have a map. <laughs> oh shit! Because <laughs> I'm I based this off of the real fucking place. Okay, so you come out of this wildlife re refuge. I don't know if you can see my mouse cursor at all. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, I can. So you can't. Oh, you can in OBS too. Okay, so you come down here, um, and it takes you down this way, and you come down here. You come to see um, Grand Forks. Is that where we're at? So the Alaris Center. I don't know why. That's not that's what I want. Okay. So um, and then so I guess you would actually come down here, take this exit, and so you're over here, and you see the Alaris Center. <clears throat> wow, that's great driving. You only caused uh, three accidents on the way. <laughs> um. <laughs> rocketing down the highway. Yeah, I'm not going to make you roll for every red light that you ran. Um, so you you get here. Uh, I assume you just... You, tell me what you do at this point. Like, do you just pull in and park? Wait, think, don't, don't, don't yeah. park right next to him. That 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 one human we that gave us this car, I, I don't know... This place seems like it's gonna be full of humans. I don't, I don't, they usually try to put us in cages and stuff. What are we gonna do about that? Yeah, um, it looks but, like they all want to go in this side. So let's see what's happening on the other side. But I would try to. Uh, you can't see my mouse cursor, but uh, away from the main parking lot, kind of heading for this left side of the building. See what is so uh, like, like going this way and coming around mm -hmm. to the back. Yeah, to see okay. what is back there. If it, if it's a little less busy because I would want to avoid the main entrance where I see people moving. Okay, so a as you go down, you see the front entrance, which looks like this. Um, but so you're going in the back. I couldn't find a picture of the back. I thought you might do this, but sorry. Um, <laughs> it's okay. But, I assume uh, we have a loading dock or but something. Like, yeah, like any place it has a, um, a loading dock um, back here. Um, they're currently all closed, like, shut. Um, but yeah, it's also... Um, uh, what time did I say this happens? I didn't put a time. Oh, I put 10 a.m. Okay. Um, so let's say it's about midday. Um, so it's probably the worst day to be sneaking or worst time to be sneaking somewhere. Um, but you're just a big truck and, and no one notices what you're doing. Um, but yeah, so if you want to pull back here and park and then make a decision from there, that sounds good. It's up to you. Yeah. Looking for a spot like behind a dumpster or something just real out of the way yeah yeah there's and plenty then... of space back there um this is an event center um so this is this is huge like look at the size of the cars compared to the place yeah this place is big so um like it, it's a stadium basically they do football games love the color gray uh um, yeah and honestly we don't i wouldn't be thinking ahead about whether or not our car will still be there when we get back i'm assuming we're leaving in a different way but park out of the way so we can discuss for now yeah so all, all of the like stuff going on is really going on out here um they've already like loaded everything into the center so there's not a lot of activity in the back right now because the um, the, the con conference or the the show is already going on so, so. i want to i want to use my thief uh background to to sort of eyeball the, the back entrance ways and see for the best way for us to get in uh, without being spotted or causing too much noise. Okay, so in the back, um, like I said, there are several uh, like docks um, for like large trucks, um, and then like any place, there's going to be a couple of doors back there as well. Um, there are cameras set up like any place um, that you can see on the corners um, uh, of the building. So like there's one here, one here, both pointing down. Um, and yeah, that, that's what's back there. 
Could now could our our could all of our big bear bodies fit through human sized doorways? Uh, yeah, you'd have to kind of go in sideways, but yeah, you could fit. Okay. Um, I would. I would pick out like the 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 best looking doorway that's furthest from any camera, and I would say, yeah, we can we can go we can go in that way. Um, what what are we doing exactly? Are we are we just gonna go in there and eat all their honey? Uh, and because I I I know sometimes they uh, they don't like you taking their food and they uh, they try to uh, uh, shoot things at you. Um, and I don't think that uh... <laughs> what's your name, Glorious? <laughs> Blor- Blorpius? Blorpius. Is it like Morpheus, but you're but a blorp, big? Yeah. It's like a big round bear name. Yeah, exactly. Blorp- yeah, okay. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think Blorpius could eat every single human that I've seen. This seems like a large. This seems like the biggest human city in the world, and I don't think it may be. That, it may be. I don't. I don't think that Blorpius could eat them all. No, I think what caught my attention on the flyer here was ultra dense mega honey. Uh, I think that's our that's our crown jewel. And if we get we get caught, we have to bail. It's grab whatever honey you can get, okay, and then make a run for it. But I think first plan is stealth. Second plan is make a big ruckus like a bunch of bears. Uh, bite, swipe, eat people. And then get the hell out. But that should be a last resort. Right. I say first stop should be finding out where they're going to keep the raffle prize and how to get there. Hmm. But mm. from one, until we're inside, I don't know much about what might be in there. You mean yeah. any ideas? Uh, I. I would like to. I, 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 at the door, like as we have we exited the car and are we at the door? We're still thinking before we. I, th- do I think we're still in the car planning. Like, okay, I mean we are bears. The, the bear thing to do would be to get out and like sniff the air, right? And like, yeah, the ultra dense mega honey probably has like a unique smell to it, right? Yeah, probably that's smells true. especially good, and we might be able to yeah. learn more once we actually. So the, the answer might simply be to get inside and then sniff. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. That's a good uh, idea. As a human. But... Also, I know this is Honeycon, but do you, do you guys think there's going to be any bamboo in there? I mean... I don't I see a single bamboo it. tree I... in this entire area. I'm going to go it. with very likely. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep him motivated. I believe, I believe you. I, I believe you. I do not doubt you at all. Is he like good for I, I just kind of stood there in silence. I, I'm just like, oh boy. <laughs> I think any any place that uh, is smart enough to to have a bunch of honey as a prize is also smart enough to know that there are folks who love bamboo. So I wouldn't that's good because I ate I ate all the seat belts in this car. <laughs> yeah, we saw. <laughs> uh, Okay, I, I agree with the test sniff and maybe uh, see what we hear as well because we got some some entry points here if there's a loading dock so we could see if there's any uh, if we hear any motion on the other side. Did we uh, did we find a door without a camera at it by chance? I don't know. Yeah, do do I see any doors that are best to enter to avoid the cameras? Um, I would say that that. With your limited bear knowledge um, of how cameras work, you would think that the middle door is is probably the the most not being monitored by the cameras because it is the furthest furthest from. So that right. makes sense. Just purely distance based. Yeah, that one's the best one because it's farthest away from the. Yeah. If, if you can explain to, if you can give me a lore reason of why any of you would know how cameras work, I mean, we were. I presume the perverted billionaire like would have like a camera system in his like home, but beyond that, yeah. Would we would we trace it to that box though? Like, yeah, or would you just be like, hey, when we tried to break out, a bunch of guys showed up immediately. Uh, I don't know if we would know it was because they saw us through the remote looking device. <laughs> like, that's a, a pretty big leap, but. 
you know, it would really just depend on how much hacking I've done. Like, do I do I know I about d- hacking? I just know those, those, those things is, yeah. with the lenses on them are bad and stay away from them. I think from, from hacking and watching hacker uh, cinema, you would probably get a sense of security cameras bad, yeah. They also... Uh, and don't let them see you. They were chasing me through the forest that, that one time, too, and they had cameras. You, no, you, don't, you don't hunt a bear. You ever been, you ever been hunted? No. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was captured, but not so much hunted. They kind of snuck up on me while I was asleep. I guess they had to hunt me to find me, but I don't know. It changes a bear. I was standing outside of this drain pipe on the edge of a waterfall. And this old man came up behind me. He made my face like a catcher's mitt. Old looking. He says, I'm taking you in for Timothy. And then I jumped. I was really like in captivity. I feel like by this point I should know more about Timothy since we've been friends for a while, but every day you tell me something new about it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I just uh, really kind of picked it up as I went along. I got uh, picked up off an ice floe in Alaska and shipped here. I think that's where polar bears live. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the part of the world where polar bears lived, and the next thing I knew, I wasn't there. I was in some asshole's concrete prison. And, I grew uh, up in captivity, and the, the people feeding me were nice. They gave me bamboo, but then I ended up in that terrible place. Sounds like you now you don't have bamboo, and that's bad. Right. This is this is the worst. These are the b- worst moments of my life. <laughs> Every moment I don't have bamboo. So are yeah. you going to try to go through the door? What, what's the plan? Okay, <laughs> we're we're having deep character moments here <laughs> in, <laughs> in the Escalade. <laughs> but if you um, don't do something soon, some people are going to come out for a cigarette. So please do something. <laughs> yeah. All right. This honey's not going to find itself. Yeah. Enough reminiscing. We got to. I say we go in there. We, uh, you know, you're right. There's a lot of them. There's a lot more of them than there are of us. But if we're careful, we can either sneak past them or pick them off one at a time. And, uh, you know, we try not to let the screaming start until uh, it's absolutely necessary. Okie doke. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll leave the. Uh the GMC Yukon order, and uh, uh, I guess we're sniffing the air and uh, heading towards that middle yeah. door as far as from the yeah. cameras. So <laughs> I, I would sort of say emerge. back here, all you're smelling is like diesel fumes and things like that, because this is where all the trucks loaded and unloaded. And you're not really like, like human world. too much of that. Um, but yeah, did you want to try the door? Yes. All right, so you, you try the door, it's locked. Oh. They do I, this uh, a lot. I, uh... <laughs> now, I, I say, here's a plan that's worked for us in the past. We could smash it. It's like, it, well, hang on. This this, this requires a delicate touch. I'm, go- I'm gonna hack the door. Hack there the door. is no keypad on the door. It's... it's... I, I, uh, I, I say I'm gonna hack the door, and then I punch at the door handle. <laughs> <laughs> hack at it with your claws. It's just, just punch this the is, door handle. My definition of hacking, like, is as like I, I I loosely I loosely say what I, when I am hacking and when I there's there's okay. like no line between my, right. of actions. You're gonna roll but, bear, but I know that I don't get advantage for hacking when I do that. That's fine. You're definitely rolling bear. That's fine. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> this is a this is about my character's misunderstanding of what this is. Fair. <laughs> So a D6 is what I'm rolling for this, right? Yeah, yeah, you roll a D6, and then you want to roll um, under, I believe. I rolled a four. So I'm <laughs> okay. Now, okay, uh, but how does but, this fuck up? Let me see. Uh, <laughs> you got to channel your range. You got to pretend that door is a weird German man filming you. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. You roll since okay. Let me see. When in that, I was, I was when you act trying to and the outcome something. is in doubt, roll a d6. <laughs> if it's equal or under, you succeed. If it's over the stat, you fail. If you're using your bear special skill or doing something related to your role, 
I'm going to say because you misunderstand what your yes. role is, it counts. <laughs> so roll a second d6. <laughs> this is, I'm going to try not to abuse this. I rolled a two. <laughs> okay. So, um, so you you punch the door, and a few things happen. Uh, but before that, you punch the door. The door pops through. Cut to theme music. Because you got high theme music. <laughs> um, so, here's what happens. The door caves in. Because while you were it just trying to punch... A little loud. <laughs> I can also turn down Kenku myself. No, I got it. But, okay, that's... Um, yeah. Much better. So, so you punch the door, and I know you're trying to punch the handle, but you punched it too hard, and the door just basically popped off its hinges. And that seems like something I would do. Yeah. So here's our, here are the things that occur when this happens. A, you all get a massive just whoosh of smell of uh, honey. It is just overwhelming. That's all you smell is honey. Um, oh my god. So it, it, it's just tons of honey and a little oh, bit yeah, of bamboo. Yeah. And um <laughs> no. And uh of course. And um so that's the first thing. The second thing is you hear from inside um uh a couple of people shout, "What the hell was that?" Hmm. Uh-oh. What do you do? I, I'm just spring into action. Uh, what what do we see through the door? What does the area beyond the door look like? Uh, there is a broken door um, up against a uh, hallway. Like that's all you see. There's just a wall. So th- so it it's was like, like the, uh... Uh, the door went in, and then there's a hallway that goes right or left. So the door just basically slammed into the wall and kind of is partially embedded in the wall. Um, and then you and... have right or left. Oh, also, uh, Adam, you go up a one point in bear and down one point in criminal. Okay. I forgot up bear that. down criminal. Yeah. Uh, I'm imagining the like the back uh, rooms of the mall in T2 where they're having that the fight with the T1000 like just plain blank white hallways with vending machines in yeah. them kind of thing. Yeah, if you've ever been like in the like back rooms of a shopping mall or something like that, it's like that. Yeah. Or like any business ever. It's a place where like customers don't come. So they don't really spend a lot of effort on it. Yeah, I've actually, I had to do a lot of uh, convention center shit when I was working for the Parks and Rec. And there's a lot of creepy labyrinths, probably with like a bunch of folding chairs and tables in them (laughs) at all times. Uh, But okay, so where did we hear the voice come from? Could we tell that or just we heard Uh, it through the door once we punched it? You you just heard it like come through the door. Um, I would say bears have good hearing. Um, so if you want to, what's, ah, man, I forgot your character things. Um, Pine is, uh, swimming, so that's not really gonna probably come into effect very much. Um, hacker and thief, that's right. Okay. Um, Here's a sw- oh polar bear is swimming. Polar bear is right. swimming. Yeah, I don't know what the the um, brain grizzly, and then panda is anything. eats anything that looks like bamboo. I guess my role as the brain would just be for making a plan, or I don't even know. Uh, it's kind I mean, of a vague it, term. But... I've, if we hit something, I'll we'll go that yeah. route. I um, also took it more to mean that he thinks he's the brains of the operation, which may or may not be factually accurate. <laughs> Um, so you're not sure where it came from, but you, you hear like steps getting closer and now you can tell the direction it's coming from and it's coming from the right. I think we should hightail it the other direction. Yes. So are, you, are you going I, I in the door and going left? Uh... Uh, you got me scared because of uh, Curse of Strahd, where I was like, I'm going to move that broom. They're like, oh, so you're touching it then? And I'm like, I don't want to answer that. <laughs> I mean, we should that knock him out. That. So aside it's... from the bear part of this, and there being a honey... Con- Actually, there are honey conventions. I found that out anyway. Aside from it being a very large honey convention, this is all in the real world. 
So oh, yeah. I don't, no I don't... magic or anything like that. So don't worry <laughs> don't about that. A... <laughs> I'm not scared you're going to spring a killer broom on me. Just more that uh, whenever you ask a question, like, are you sure that's the course of action you want to take? I'm like, well, now I'm scared. <laughs> now I don't know if I want to. Uh, I but think yeah, I, beer instinct would just be to say, "Oh shit!" and run to the line. Yeah, I, mean, yeah was, I think we would have run forward when we smelled the honey, and then as soon as we heard something, be like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> and just start uh, heading the other direction. Which I don't really know what's down that way, but it's away from the humans. That's yelling. And and before we do that, and before we run, like, is there anything that I can like tip over in this corridor that would just like get in the way of people? Um, it's a good plan. I would say, as you, from where you are right now, you can't see anything. Okay. All right. So are you going in? And then yeah. going to the. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're right. running. So as you guys go in, um, Adam, you see on your right, uh, just slightly, um, slightly like a couple of steps to the right, you know, ver- the opposite direction you guys are all going. Um, like uh, two vending machines, like a soda vending machine and like a candy vending machine. So if you oh, wanted to knock those over, you could. I would actually like to take one and put it like in the doorway behind us. I'd, like knock it over into that doorway so that someone can't open the door behind us. Okay, so as you go to do that, you see two armed guards walking down to investigate the sound um so are you still going to take the time to move the thing behind you and block the door are they are they coming the way of the block door coming towards you and they have seen you oh uh, i think sliding it in front of the door is probably a good plan (laughs) but but are they through the door or are they no no okay okay so there's the door you guys came through yeah and then it's a hall they yeah. are coming down the hall. Oh, okay. So uh, yeah, okay. I the thought they were also the through the guards. It. Sorry, I thought yeah, there so, was. Uh, so, so if left. you wanted to block the path of no, the guards, that's... you would want to put it in the hall, not in they, the. They've door. seen us, so the jig is up. What I would actually like to do is Lay I would I'd actually out. like to, uh, uh, I would like to get behind the vending machine and push it down the hallway at them and like attempt to terrify them with like the big moving object uh, that's not quite like my bear skill is to terrify no, no i'm giving it absolutely like, yeah, yeah, rolling 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 bear, though, um but 2d6 all right just specify what i'm terrifying <laughs> your strength grizzly bear can lift over 500 kilograms vending machine right. standard around 200 to 300 <laughs> there you go all right i got a one and a two so okay so i'm um, googling bears like crazy over here all right, so uh, th- again, uh, so so at, um, do you want to narrate what happens? Or I can, but if you want to narrate this whole thing, go ahead. I mean, I the, I tip the vending machine over on its side, and I just, like, get behind it, and, and I give it the bare shoulder, and I, like, charge, and it fills the hallway, and they just basically, like, they basically are crapping themselves because they, you know, this vending machine is huge, the hallway is... You know, there, there's no way out for them other than just like running and hightailing their ass off out of this. It's it's like a it's like Indiana Jones, at like the big giant rolling ball, except if it said Coca Cola on the side. And I'm imagining like a prolonged screech, like that part in yeah. Men in Black where he's pulling the table across the floor, <laughs> but just this gouging a hallway, <laughs> gouging all the linoleum out of the hallways and slides down. <laughs> Wow, okay. you are king of the bears. All right, so so that succeeds, and I think I was missing one of the the factors of this because you are so close to losing it already. That's not right. All right, so so we skip something. So yeah, if you um, go too far. So no, so when the plan fails, you run into a difficulty. Move one point from criminal into bear. Um, when the plan goes off without a hitch, move one point from bear into criminal. And we haven't been doing that. Why, I mean, why I, did I change I, I, my usually. point earlier then exactly? I thought that's I thought that was why I changed my point. Yeah, you moved yeah, so one because you did a bear punch yeah. and you moved it into bear. Now this is a thing where the plan of using the vending machine to terrify them has gone off without a hitch. Yeah. But I would argue that's a bear action as opposed to part of the plan 
which maybe I read to be the heist okay. plan. But, but here's the way I read this, is that I, under number two for stats, it says I have two stats, bear and criminal, uh-huh. right? And, and I can roll things against being a bear or a criminal. And, right. and that's, that's fine. I, I think number four, when the plan fails and you run into difficulty, move one point from criminal to bear, when the plan goes off from out of hitch, I guess did me, punch, me punching that door counted as technically a success because I was, quote, hacking right? So does that mean that my plan went off without a hitch? I, I would say that the door didn't go off without a hitch because okay, that was not fair. at okay. all hacking the door. I sure. would so say, though, your there. your goal here was to stop the yes. armed guards. <laughs> that did work. So we're not yes. going to move your points this time. We also okay. should have moved Pipe's points for stealing the car. So Pipe, really? you're back to three. Okay. Three. I feel like that one was a more cut and dry example of like a, a thing that is outside of bear ability, but then it went off without a hitch anyway. I don't know. Yeah. yeah so, so the thing is, if you do the thing and it goes yeah. without off without a hitch, then it state. Man, this is confusing. These seem to be I, like counter to each other. See, that's what I thought are. was that the whole the they're game they're is supposed to be that. like. I've been doing too much human shit. I need to do some bear stuff, or else I'm gonna top out at six and that's bad i mean you neither want versa. you neither want to get six or one in either and like the three is a sliding thing so like you you don't get to be six without being like one in the other like yeah you always move it around so like i i failed with the door and i succeeded with the vending machine so i think i'm supposed to be back to three and three yeah that's right yeah you'd be at three okay. and three that's right all right i see what you mean and then they talk about voluntarily moving things yeah there's Frustration is when you fail, not when you succeed at being bare. Right. I see what you mean. Okay. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, that that's how it moves. It moves then, not when you do the thing right. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, let's just start at three and three and move forward. Yeah, yeah. But apparently, three, like, baby. no matter how, yeah, no matter what you're doing when you fail, it moves it into bare because you're getting more frustrated and about to go crazy. Whereas the more you succeed in general, you're like, hey, maybe I could get used to this human thing. And yeah. uh, you start creeping more toward that. Okay. Got it. All right. So, um... Adam. So we should actually... Sorry, I, I was getting some ice. Sorry. <laughs> so I think I should still then be at... Have moved one into criminal for the success of driving. Yeah, I think that's right. So yeah, but so Adam would be at two four. But Adam has basically done a wash because he's done two things. I mean, you you neither want to get to six in either of them, so you kind of right, want to stay in the right. middle, like yeah. strategically meta wise. Yeah, it's I gotta uh, got maybe intentionally fail, or you can you can add why, bear by I eating honey. Really the heist or 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 eat honey. It doesn't say you can only do them once, but I, I kind of I don't know. Anyway. This is like eat a load of honey. It's all intentionally. I mean, it can made. also just happen because you roll p- bad. Yeah, that's also yeah. Um, okay, so, uh, so yeah, what, did, what do they do with their scared? I don't think we even got that. Oh no, they got hit. They got hit. Oh, by yeah. the, the, they're, 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 they're they are unconscious on the ground. Not just terrified. Then. So so you have. Um, I mean, the, the hallway's not that long. That went pretty far. So. So they are unconscious on the ground, um, and they both have guns. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, it might be time. Um, I I am an American bear. I know. What what do the other two of you do? Because you guys went left. Um, Did you stop? Did you keep going? So okay, yeah, I, I paused. Because you, you definitely Clinton. heard what happened. So, as soon as I heard the the thump of the machine going on its side, I would have turned around and yeah, witnessed the rest of it. What's going on? All right, so you so, all see two humans laying on the ground. Um, uh, they were armed with um, just handguns. Now, all right. Now, it seems to me like we know one thing about this place, and it's that the closest guards to that door have already heard us and been knocked unconscious. So maybe we head that way instead. See what they were guarding now that they're out of the way. (laughs) Who knows what's down the left path? Might be two more of these assholes. So I would start making my way over to them and probably notice the gun and uh, start be like, hmm sort of clandestinely try to take one 
I, I see one of their guns and I just start eating one of their shirts, kind of dying on it. There, there's a picture of a. Uh, the, they're not like super well dressed uh, guards, and one of their shirts just has like a bamboo pattern. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Eating a stick. Chewing on a nightstick. Because it's long. So they're not <laughs> uniformed, is what you're saying, are they? Uh, they're like I, volunteer they're, security. Yeah, like no, they they have like um like vests and stuff on, but underneath they're that, like mall cops. Yeah, they're like mall cops, wow. but under underneath it, he can see a a hint of the bamboo um, pattern. I was just trying to give a lore reason for why he's eating the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say I'm gonna hold up the gun and say I think this will come in handy later, and then put it under my hat. Uh, do they are there? Kind of my question earlier. Are they any of them wearing like security guard hats? Um, let's say they are. I uh, we disguise ourselves. I take one of the security bear hat, uh, security guard hats. I put it on and I take the gun and I say, "Human beings respect authority. Figures of authority. This is going to work." So you only have yeah. two of these. So we, yeah, because there, I were, don't there were two guards. <laughs> oh, did you like I not... just ate the guy's shirt. Not concerned with a gun. I'm, yeah. I'm eating a shirt. I'm not, I'm not thinking what's going on. <laughs> All right. So, Adam, you took his hat. Yeah. I put his hat on. No less. Okay. <laughs> um, I, they also have, um, like, scan lan like lanyards. Ooh, yeah. I would like point badges. that out. They have badges, yeah. basically, but they're, they're lanyards they wear around there because I mean, it is a conference. They, 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 like I said, they, they respect authority. I think you should, I think you should put this on, Fu. And I give him one of them, and then sounds like Pike took the other one. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't take any uh, count to my bare body. Uh, so yeah. Oh, we do we only have two lanyards? There's only, okay. no, only two bar. people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, I guess I'll I'll take one. We move as a group. We'll, we'll stick together. Yeah. Uh, we, can we smell? Uh, yeah, and get a hint of the the best direction to go between the entire the place. Just is overwhelming but honey. honey. Okay. Yeah, Where I googled go that too. Uh, bears have the best sense of smell of any animal on Earth. If a dog sense of smell is a hundred times better than a human, bloodhound is three hundred. A bear is two thousand one hundred <laughs> times better. Seven times better than a bloodhound. So yeah, I would imagine overwhelmed with honey smell but also able to like pick out the manuka honey from the other you know the clover honey or whatever okay so are you you're walking down the hall yep we're okay. we're tr humorously trying to present an air of human authority with our hats and I'm on my back legs yeah okay so as you go down the hall um the the hall ends and then like in an L so basically you can go um left and that's it or you can turn back around i'll stop at the corner and peek around the bend okay um you just see another hall um there's nobody in the hall it's pretty empty um it, it looks like um it looks like offices along the sides because you're in the back so this is where mm -hmm. like people do work and stuff um so, like, you just have, like, little offices along the hall. There's no honey in here. It's just concrete. Let's and, then, going. and then the hall goes down to a, a larger set of doors. Go down to that set of doors. Um, I'll, if there's, like, windows to the offices on the side, I'll peek through those to make sure we're, we're not getting spied, like, keeping a low profile. I would, <clears throat> excuse me, I'd be keeping an eye out for, like, manager or director like high level titles to see if we might be able to to get some more info while we're currently uh still stealthy and i'm looking for computers oh yeah like a unlocked or even just yeah like we're like visibly like, yeah, online a, a computer that's sitting on any desk. computer <laughs> any computer yeah Brack. listen i in every movie i've ever seen that's how you do this yeah, you find any computer anywhere in the building, which is, of course, tied into the mainframe. And then when you're done, you shoot the monitor to make sure nobody else can use it. <laughs> they keep the honey in the mainframe. So, our, our, so, so there are about um, four offices, two doors on either side. 
Um, or you can go all the way down to the end and go through the larger two. It's like a, a double door. And uh, yeah, bears have pretty good hearing, right? So, so, and you can hear just a cacophony of like voices and and just muttering and talking. Um, so you so you can tell there's a lot of people on the other side of the store. On the double doors? Yes, on the double doors. Do we hear anything in the offices? Um, you hear like tech, like computer sounds, but you don't hear any people. Oh, computer we sounds. Out. We got we gotta get you in the mainframe. Whatever that is. Computer sounds. I, I know the sounds. Try to stealthily enter the office. These guys are fucking just killing machines. Like There's twice as sensitive hearing, <laughs> a larger <laughs> range of hearing, all directions. Like just why are why are aren't bears the dominant species? <laughs> We'll never know. I got brains that is peanuts. I try to open one of the God doors to the office. Uh, it just opens, and uh, oh. you walk in. I'm not, um, I'm not bear opening doors. I need large brain it. compared to body size. Navigation ability superior to humans. <laughs> Excellent long term memory. There is a uh, so. How do you test? Um, bear? It's just a normal office. There's just a computer, um, but. Uh, Dole, as you walk in, you just get hit with the smell of bamboo, and you immediately lock eyes on a bamboo plant and a planter in the corner. Oh my god. Ooh. Finally. Uh, you do co computer thing, eat bamboo. I eat, I eat as much bamboo as I can. <laughs> oh god, no. Not paying attention, I'm just, just tearing this plant apart. <laughs> Wait, I, I had to step away because my cat knocked something over. It was he found bamboo in one of these offices? Yeah, there was just like potted bamboo in the corner. Uh, it's just a normal uh, office. The computer is over there. It's on. I uh, we lost. I, I go I I go over to the computer, and uh, I I I pull the chair out, and then I sit in the chair, and completely break the chair. Okay, chair breaks. <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> I start. I start typing. I start. I start typing, like on the keyboard to see if I can if I can do anything with it. It's, okay. It's... So the the screen comes up. Um, there is a uh, a login screen. I uh I I type in bear. <laughs> uh, it um, it says that that's not the valid password. The password is bamboo. They, I, I, look, I, I had to play it. The password is bamboo. I type in bamboo. Uh, that works. <laughs> no, <laughs> told you. <laughs> what a terrible <laughs> password. I, I see a little post-it note like on the bottom of the monitor, and it just says bamboo on it. Like no, 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 bamboo, no you one, don't. two, three. You see a little <laughs> no. note on the no, no. You see a, a <laughs> someone who has dealt with this bullshit. You see a note on the monitor that says the word plant. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, a physical password reminder yes i cannot with people anyway <laughs> i uh i i what do i see on the screen um so it's uh you know a normal windows screen there's a bunch of folders um there is a uh pdf that says alaris center layout um yeah. there's uh um you know, normal stuff. There's like an Internet Explorer. There's well, no, I guess it would be Edge. There's an Edge icon, uh, Chrome oh, icon, um, uh, a folder that says taxes. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, Is that you I, 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 I look at I look at the screen and I and I, and I look at it again. And I say, uh, despite the fact that it's, it's the Unix system, I know this. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I take the I, I look at the PDF and I, I wave over uh uh our our uh our genius bear, our our brains bear. Wait, and I say, and take a look at this. Mm. Alright, and so this, this is what you see. The whole Ah yes. Does does this make any sense to you? Uh I feel like this is the big human city that we're in. <sighs> and if you think about it, 
I'm I'm trying to see where we would have arrived. I don't know if it would be on it, here or it not. It would be up here. So so okay, so I might not if, be in, incredibly clear, but I would remember right, where so if you, if where you everybody was this, coming in. If you look at this, that's like this part. So this yeah. section is cut off. So you're somewhere over here still. You use those okay, bears so with superior just, navigational skills. I would I would remind everybody like okay we saw we drove by all of these doors that's what entrance means so that's uh, so then we came around and so yeah I would point I'm again I'm motioning with my cursor that nobody can see but yeah up up where you indicated I would say we're up here somewhere mhm mm but I it, this doesn't tell me where anything else is. It says what the rooms are, the ballroom. The, these bigger ones are probably where they would uh, have a is, raffle. Is there a room that says where the honey room? Yeah, where's the honey you room? see a honey room. Where's the honey room? No honey room. I mean, you guys can read, too. But... Is there a bear room? I think the problem is this is a place full of rooms, and then they use them for different things. So I don't know if this map would say... Honey room or bear room or bamboo room, even if they're here, which we obviously found the bamboo room already. Yeah. So I hope there's another bamboo room. Well, oh, there's, pro there's probably another bamboo room. I'm, I'm sure imagining right. these ones that are in different colors are the more important ones. I mean, there's some big rooms. Do you think the big rooms have like the most honey? I smell so much honey there. It has to be in the biggest room. That it would take a big room to hold all that honey. So that. So, because of Pipe bringing up the bear navigation, I'm going to give you this. The big room is this thing that's not on this map. This is oh, the this big is, room. That is, this the, is the, the show floor. So, this is the, if you look at the um, this, this is the arena, okay. and this isn't on the map. So, the arena is not on the map. These are the conference rooms that are on the, the this. Okay. okay. But so do we know, like... conference rooms and stuff. Is there like a, a trade show or something happening on the arena floor, or is it all in the conference room here? I guess, what did the flyers say? Just said the convention the center. The flyer just said the convention center. Uh, one thing that I saw that I didn't look into said uh, that their smell is directional. Uh, it was something that was like, <laughs> hearing is omnidirectional unlike smell and i'm like that's really weird does that mean they so, can only smell in a straight line so i would but say that's the true very, the very strong uh honey smell is stronger at those double doors okay i think that's i think keeping this map if it's uh oh no it's not a paper map so can, yeah you can take the, just take the <laughs> pick up the monitor <laughs> i say we bring this with us Take that map with us. Pick up the monitor. And, and and just to remind you, there is a folder that says taxes. I do want to know what's in the taxes folder, but that's me as a player. I don't know if my bear would be curious. It's pornography. Is there a bamboo it's folder? It's absolutely pornography, Pipe. Taxes, but, homework, but taxes, you know. No, no, it's taxes, then like 2017, and then <laughs> inside that folder is another folder that says yeah. taxes, and then um, other than do not look. Misc. Yeah. Misc, and then, then the porn. <laughs> yeah. So clever. Uh, this, this is taking place in 2004. No, this is 2023. I I'm, I'm... This, but yeah, this people is the still probably person do. whose password is an item in their office. So I would say, it knowing what we know, then yeah, that's I didn't even really parse that this is a, <laughs> an office computer. Gross. I know it happens, but uh, always bummed me out. People, I worked in an office where somebody got busted and like escorted out for looking so at porn in their do. office. So like, I still what? work at that office, but yes. Ugh. And one guy who was like during training, he got bored and like uh, opened up the uh, the command prompt and started fucking around in the computer and uh, was again escorted out like mid class. Takes all kinds to work the call center. Yep. Uh, OK, so I think. Um, our plan should be head through the double doors. I think that's going to take us down this left side so, here. Yes. Yeah, we follow the follow the honey smell, and it'll take us down here. We know when we get to this main 
sort of open area down in the bottom left corner, we'll know where we're headed. There's going to be a lot of humans there, so... So, you know, I, I look at Fu and I say, in all the good hacking movies, when, when they do the job, I mean, they, they, they do this two ways. They do thieving two ways. One, they go, they go in and make a lot of noise. And two, they get, they get people to leave the building. Like, do we, do we want to do something that makes everyone leave the building? Well, mm. can you throw an infinite amount of vending machines at them? <laughs> I mean... We just use the same one. Every time somebody comes down the hallway, I, we throw the vending machine at them well, until they're was, all unconscious. I would put a vending machine in every hallway if I was a human, so probably. All right. Have now, what, what, what do we know that humans fear? Humans fear us. I mean, but there's, they, not, there's, they there's a lot more of them than us. They fear being they, mm-hmm. What What do we fear? Uh... I don't like being orcas. I don't, yeah. I don't like being hunted. I don't like, uh, how many orcas do we have? Oh, I God would, damn I would be I, super or, terrified. Adam, I didn't I have you roll for uh, for the. Well, that wasn't even a hack. Uh, yeah, was, yeah, you yeah, were helped. Yeah. yeah, no, that's fine. Never mind. I, that was a deduction. You know, wait, you know what I'm scared of as a bear? Being accused of doing something I didn't. <laughs> okay, we 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 know about the stuff that happened to you. I'm sorry. I mean, you happened. know their side of the story. <laughs> I. I had seen this 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 movie a bunch of anyway. I, I was the point I was getting at is I'm scared of fire. Mm. Are you scared of fire? Fire might be a good one. Do we know how to make fire though? I've uh, seen a few ways, but I don't have any of them. TV I would don't... say you know, clicky lighter. Uh, I mean, there, there's a switch on the gas. wall that says fire pull. Maybe if we pull it. It will that's, fire. that's where the fire comes I, from. We get some fire. And then excuse we... fire. me, Boy. excuse me. I am the DM. <laughs> you do not see a, so- a thing on the wall that says "fire pole" in the oh, you're, person's you're office. Telling, you're telling a professional architect that there's no fire alarms in this person's <laughs> office. Adam, you tell me what I person's grant you office. It would be unusual for a fire pole to be out of an office. They are usually in main corridors and exits. Yes, that is correct. I, okay, <laughs> that is true. Now I'm not saying. You can't look for it later. It absolutely isn't here. <laughs> yes, there you We wouldn't necessarily know about like bread. I bet if we knocked the sprinkler head off it would it would do something, but we wouldn't necessarily know that. So we can't make a fire here. So it, it's a misnomer. If you knock a sprinkler head off, all it does is set off that sprinkler head. That is Just that one? Yeah. <laughs> does it set off the whole system? It does not set off the whole system. Is no. it uh, <laughs> what is, is, there, is, there fo- is there a folder in the computer that says set fire? <laughs> there is not. Uh, okay. Let me let me think. Uh, so okay, we're thinking thinking back to the the late night TV shows we've seen. We know about the idea of fire. What else would we know? Disguise. I mean, I, I don't want to get dark about this, but, you know, I've seen all these crazy people on TV with guns in public places. You know, we have a gun. If we fired the gun, it would probably make everyone run away. Oh, is that what those things are? I think yeah. that's what they're for. You remember but... in that very good movie, Age of Ultron, when that speedster <laughs> goes into the police station with a gun and shoots it into the air like, hey, get off your asses. And then he dies yeah. that very reasonable death at the end. I think we should do that middle part. <laughs> Uh, did you guys that. shut the door to the office or not? Uh, I wouldn't have occurred to I, me. I saw bamboo. I went to the bamboo. I didn't care about anything. Yeah, I think we all just kind of I squeezed. I saw the computer. I ran so, with the computer. So, so you, you hear the doors at the end of the hallway uh, close. And you hear oh. um, footsteps. Oh, hide. Uh, I would, uh, yeah, yeah I, I try to like. I try to hide under the desk. I hide under a de- yeah, I hide like near, next to a wall or under a desk or something. I would just like flatten myself on the ground with an arm out toward the door and try to like uh, nudge it shut. <laughs> so I'm under oh, any kind I of window that might be that, there. But I don't know. What the hell would you it's roll like, for? Oh. I, you're being a criminal? I think that's, yeah. Hide without being noticed is probably yeah, I, more I, of a criminal I, than a bear thing. I will have you roll to see if you shut the door. Let's start with that. Okay. I uh, assume, yeah, shut the door one, quietly. 1d6, or... because that's not, it's none of your 
Well, no, I will, I'll say that's brains because you oh. know that 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 would help hide you. Okay. So two d six. Do a two d and lowest. Yeah. A three and a five. I am currently at bare two criminal four. Okay, so that would be a success because um, for criminal. So <laughs> put another yeah. point in the criminal. Now, now I am down to one bear. I'm too human. <laughs> Gonna have to uh, start. Okay. To so uh, the door shuts, um, and you hear the footsteps come by. Um, you just hear some muttering outside, and they walk around the corner. They, the 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 two guards. Oh, yeah, there um, is some other you, stuff they might notice. You, you hear. What the fuck? And uh, and someone says, yeah, "Hey, radio this in." And they go and check on their friends, and um, they move down the corridor, so you don't hear uh, what they're radioing in or anything. Um, uh, and so they didn't find you, but that happened. They are oh, on alert. Bad. When when they get on those radios, it calls in more people. You know, I've, this happened to me once. Uh, hmm. Sorry, I think maybe we should have waited till night time. <laughs> um, okay, I, I would say the best thing we can do is keep moving away from those people, but gosh, well, everybody does seem to be coming plan, through those doors, don't they? Our plan shoot gun or find fire. Yeah, fire. We need to we need to clear these people out because they're they're hogging up all the honey space. Man, I really wanted to go for disguise, but I think we're probably past that. I don't. <laughs> uh, I mean, you, it, was, it wouldn't have lasted long. So maybe. They don't really. Uh, I mean, we, okay. huh. my plan was going to be to dress up as some sort of mascot that was a bear, but was like advertising something. And like maybe the Cola people... Cola polar yeah, bear. <laughs> like the one who is like the super. Uh, Super uh, fully featured puppet that you can take selfies with and stuff. That's the polar bear. But yeah, no, probably the panda doesn't, and the polar bear don't really make sense thematically. So, I mean, it, I I hear humans are really big in diversity these days, so they they might buy it. I mean, yeah, it's hey, we got bears here for honey, but we didn't want to just just a very show American, brown very bears. modern convention. Is, is there or anything like? signs or any kind of promotional materials in the office anywhere uh for the convention that you're in yeah no okay this is just and, and we, we didn't run any that we remember like on the way in right you came in through the back so there wasn't anything okay there was just a big sign out front that said honey con i think without like a some tailored costume. I don't think anybody would buy it anyway. I think we kind of look like outdoor <laughs> bears that ever walked into the convention. Kind of straight up bear. We're straight up bears. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think I don't. Humans are kind of dumb. I don't. I don't think they would confuse uh, a real bear, which we are real no, bears. You're, with, you're right. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not thinking straight. I'm not thinking like a bear. I forgot what accent I had earlier. You gotta think like a human, so I think you should shoot your gun for no reason. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay, you're still in the office. What are you guys doing? Yeah. Is our plan... Okay, we've been... Uh, our presence has been discovered, even if they don't know it's bears. Is the plan now evacuate through uh, chaos? Like, do we want to if... look for fire, shoot a gun, you know, something? I, we I know say, it'll cause a, so a crazy there stampede. There are people in the corridor outside of the office, right? No, uh, they, they, they kept they, moving. They went down the hall. You you could currently open the door and sneak out and get through those double doors. Currently, I think that is what we should do. Actually, it's or towards you, the honey. It's could away go from back the, the way you came and confront the two guards. Or is there is there a window into this office? There is not. It is a, a shitty shitty office. I. <laughs> Got an idea. It backs so, up to the arena. You know, the, the one thing about the human world that's not a, not like in the forest. You go to a forest, you get your back up on a tree, you scratch the hell out of your back, it works. Uh -huh. Human world? It's not built like that. I bet I could smash through the wall right next to us 
and then we could go out of the side of this room and end up in a totally different spot. Like the the in between the two offices, we could yeah. smash our way into the next office. Just it, just and we we end up where we end up, but you know where we won't end up is is with those guards. Wouldn't that just make a lot of noise? Oh yeah, yeah, that would make a ton of noise. All right, walk me through this though. You're saying the wall across from the door we came in, or yeah, like yeah, ninety yeah. degrees to it. Okay, like so like we're not moving through up. the wall beyond. Like yeah, so there's we're not the moving door. down we're the hallway, the door, and we yeah. smash through the do- the wall, the opposite side of the office, and we okay, end up. So where hold we on, end hold up. on. You're going so there. Let me rephrase how this room looks, <laughs> so so you understand, because I don't think you do. All right, you went down a hall. On the right yeah. side, there were two offices. On the left yeah. side, there were two offices. You went into yeah. the first office on the right. Okay. So, so we're we, on the we right. turned ninety degrees to go into the office. And yes. We're in the office. What I'm saying is, smash through the wall on the opposite wall of the door. So we it, we would be we would be at, so that corridor had four rooms off of it. I would be go yeah, I'm trying to think of the way to verbalize this. I think being uh, saying that would take us like outside. I think uh, we're on we the wrong the side of the building or are we just buried in the building? I thought we were on the other side of the hall. There would be a window. There would probably be a window if we're on the outside of the building. I think I think we're That's I think true. we're overthinking this. <laughs> Honey in double door room. All right. Adam wants to either Smash through the wall toward the honey, I would assume, or I mean, I'm, the, honestly, the honey... like, I'm unhinged, so this is kind of a chaos move to go like where the human beings wouldn't expect us. The honey is definitely smell is coming from the double doors. I think we could should I go say, through those doors. Right, and if, Adam wants the... to, if Adam wants to try and bust through the wall, he's more than welcome to. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm we're, we're a unit, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm with here's, my, I'm here's with my bears. Say. Let's psych ourselves up. They know we're here, or they know somebody's here. I say we go through those double doors and we see what's next. It can't be any worse uh, than sitting here and waiting for them to find us. Let's see what happens. And if How did you guys the... end up with the skills of swim and eats bamboo instead of using useful? <laughs> well, I assume <laughs> they rolled. It's race-based. You guys are going to have like, the least useful two skills. <laughs> the the I, most I, useful I, is the I sense mean, honey one. Food. Yeah, like, or climb, yeah. or terrify, or even carnage. But eat, eat is not useful. I, I it's rolled my favorite. It. It's so good. I love it so much. <laughs> this is why I don't we're... regret my decision at all. We may not be... <laughs> the best team and I, we're the team I made that's here every every correct decision so far eat I mean, who knows maybe swim will come in handy so i think we <laughs> should go there go through those doors see what happens what what if we're like sharing the hall with like a swimming convention or something <laughs> what if there's a pool that they can they can convert the arena into a pool like somewhere like a basketball and hockey rink <laughs> all right let's, cool. i i i i uh I, I like get I get I get unexcited for smashing through the wall and I, I was like yeah, yeah yeah you're right you're right I, I'm going a little I'm going crazy here let's can, let's go through the doors and I I, I, I like follow, I follow, push those, those doors open I follow our panda okay I, so as you guys walk down the hall the next office on the right has a window into it and you can see on that wall is a window you dumbass it's it's a it's an outside wall. <laughs> Well, that would that would have been a Bear, short. Bears are supposed to have good sense of navigation. Well, <laughs> like, to huh. be fair, I like thought we were through a door in the back. So you Who went all the way that. down farther than yeah. so you couldn't go any further and went left. Listen, there. We we don't know how these human buildings work. All right, let's. I really wanted you to bust through the wall. So I, I would have been willing to do find that. ourselves I'm back in the parking. Like, I'm 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 the smallest bear. Right here. I'm the uh, smallest bear. Are are the double doors? Are they like push doors? Yeah, they're they're like they have that like bar across on both doors that you could push and they push down and it opens the door. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shove the door slightly open with my stupid snout and peek my head through the door. Okay. <laughs> um. And so as you open the door, you see the arena. Um, you hear just a bunch of just people talking and, and everything. So what you can see in is a big arena. So think of just a normal conference center floor. Um, there are, but this is an arena for multiple things. So you're actually up on the level where um, there are seats and they come down at an angle. 
um, mm-hmm. from, you know, like basketball games, things like that. So you're up up in that area. Um, there are a few people sitting in the seats, like taking a break. Um, but on the floor, you just see a ton of tables set up and like, you know, normal convention things all tied into honey. Like there's like a bee mascot walking around and and um, and various like people selling honey. Um, there's like a, a table for um, beekeeping and, and, you know, general bee stuff, um, beehives, etc. cetera. Um, and in the middle, like there's a big stage and um out on the stage there is a gentleman um in a top hat and dressed to the nines oh, um, and he is uh he um is addressing the crowd and you hear friends welcome to honeycon the best place to be on a sunday Wow. I want to thank you all for joining us. Fuck you, at church. this most important event of the year. If you're not here for honey, then get the fuck out, because that's all we're about here is honey. He's cursing it during his speech. Yes, he is, because honey is the most important thing. This guy's unhinged. It's antibacterial. The guy ever heard of bamboo? Jesus. <laughs> it's everything and anything to everyone. So thank you for coming. Be sure to get your raffle ticket. Because this ultra dense mega honey made by especially posh bees is the most important thing that anyone could want. I don't want to give it away, but for tax purposes, I have to. So welcome. Have fun. Enjoy yourselves. And then he walks away, and there's some muffled clapping because they don't know what the hell that was about, and a little bit of laughter. Um, but he seems completely oblivious to it and is in a very good mood as he um, walks off. Did he play where the uh, Super Ultra Mega Honey is? He did not. Can I see it from up here? Uh, you cannot. Mm. Uh, so it's. I mean, you can uh, see honey from where you are, but but. You can't see good. like like what what you would think um, ultra dense like it just seems like honey. You are well, you're not familiar with honey, um, but no. the other other groups like they don't notice anything weird. Talking other. big for a guy I didn't even mention bamboo once. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I assume the other two saw that they poked their big stupid heads out the door too, and um <laughs> we're being we're like, playing it safe I close the door quickly bit. again say okay lots of humans lots of honey oh what, man what, what what do we do here i can really go for some honey i'm not uh i'm not really thinking straight brainy you, your brains what, what do we do brainy <laughs> <sighs> but look we got a bunch of unsuspecting humans out there and a couple of suspicious ones back down the hall. Uh-huh. We, we could uh, go beat those guys up, knock yeah. them around a little bit, tear their throats out, bear stuff, um, and uh, yeah. and go around. But, I mean, what's we're going to end up in there with the honey eventually, right? We either go now or we, we go are, later. Oh, this, is, this is where we want to be. But do we have, do we, do we have anything besides guns? <laughs> That we could yeah. help us with, or do we try to sneak down there somehow? Two guns and our our bare hands. Uh, you you hear muffled voices from down the hall. God damn it! Uh, let's, let's let's enter the uh, let's go on the other side of the door and say just like stick on that side since I don't think anyone on that side has their their their. They're, they had their backs to us because they're facing the arena. <laughs> yeah, is there is there like a stage we could slip under or something once we get through the doors? So you're you're at the top. Um, so are we there's... finally in this map here? No, again, you're you're in the We're... convention center. So so think of it oh. like um, like you have a, like a square at the bottom where most of the tables are set up, and then there's chairs at an incline coming up. And you're like up here, like walking behind the chairs. So like, if you wanted to go down the convention floor, you would have to go down some stairs. Um, but there's seats on that on the way down. Okay. 
And there, then there's this door down here. So you could just like... keep going and go through this door, or you could go down to the convention center floor um, where uh, where the honey is. I feel like that would be a lot of exposure, but I'm also uh, really fiending for honey right now, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm I, I ate that more bamboo, towards... and let me tell you, I... I I'm still I'm so hungry. You could still yeah go for some more. Uh, I mean, trust me, you'll like honey if you haven't had it. Oh, uh, you'll like honey. But God, that does thing. sort of start the clock on the uh, humans getting mad, um, doesn't it? Are you going through the door? Yeah, I think we have to. Okay. I don't want to hang out in this hallway anymore. We overthink right. things, as so, mentioned. So, so you go through the door. Um, and now you're on the other side of the door. The door shuts behind you. Um, you don't hear anyone um, pursuing you. Um, you just hear some footsteps and some muffled voices. Like Sounds like they're pretty far down at the end of the hall just talking about what they saw. In, um, yeah. Uh, so you guys are out pretty exposed. Um, you hear, Mommy, look at the bears! And a little kid comes sprinting up the steps to you, followed um, a little ways behind by her mom. Um, uh, <laughs> I look at I look at the other two as they play, play cool, and I sit on my, I sit on my ass, uh, like playfully. It's like I, I've been in a zoo. I, I, like a zoo. Yeah, I I take it's my me. hat cheerfully off, and I, I like I like do a little a little uh, you know like shake shake the hat in the air like a little enter- entertainer and and yeah. I just. Uh, appear clownish i try to look big... cute i stay like stay on all fours so i'm not scaring them but do a little wave like pick one paw up a little bit and, and wave and just, just hope for the best all right uh so the the little girl comes up and just like wraps her arms around uh the panda and her mom comes like up this. and says <laughs> and, and like just starts going like gushing about these costumes that you guys have and how awesome you look and um, and asks if you they if she can get a, a picture of her daughter with you. I, I give her a mm. thumbs up. Yeah, everybody nods. <laughs> All right. So yeah. so, she, so she takes a picture, and um, she thanks you, and it seems a little weird that you're not talking, um, but assumes it's because you're in these costumes. It's really hard to talk, and uh, takes her kid and says, you know leave them alone i'm sure they have to walk out on the floor and everything um because i'm sure they're they're the mascots for um for one of the the companies um so let's go let's leave them alone and so they they go back down to their seats i i uh, something slowly dawns on me when we do when we're doing this and i and i and i i look at i look at my friends and i say follow my lead and i like Oh. I, I I straighten both my arms out. I straighten both my legs out. I straighten my back, and I start moving around as if I were like a man in like a, a bear suit. Like I I start I stop I no longer move like a bear, but start moving as if I am like a weird bear mascot. Ooh, that's good. God, I wish I had like a. Like a lunch pail or something, <laughs> just some some human thing I could hold. And, that would... and now that we're like on the floor, are there like any banners around? Is there is there anything we can see? So, um, like I said, you can see a bunch of tables out. Um, there's uh, like a beekeeping um, company down there showing off their their like the clothing for beekeeping, and next to that one is another beekeeping one, but more about the hives. Um, there's several like honey vendors. Um, some of them have bears as their like uh, like an icon next to their their name. Um, again, you have the platform in the middle. Um, you have like honey tasting, like like where you can try different honeys at these vendors. Um, uh, I mean that that's kind of it. Just just various versions of that. This is a very like honey focused thing so there's a lot of vendors from across the country but they're all pretty much selling the same thing because it's honey it's not that goddamn complicated <laughs> 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 that 
intelligent if they don't see through this, but it seems to be working. Uh, um, I am going to make... This is not part of the game, so I'm making up this on the fly. Since you are trying to not be a bear, I want you all to roll bear, but you want to get over it, not under it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I've been bear one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get over and bear. This won't change your stats, but it will say how well you're doing this. I rolled a six. I rolled a four. Oh, a five. Okay. All right. I, I, at, at one point, I was like, Pipe's the only one who's going to be able to do this. Um, <laughs> but no, so, okay. So it doesn't move your stats at all for this because it, it really doesn't fit in with the game. But um, I wasn't just going to let you do this. Okay. That's so, <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah. So you are pretending to be humans in suits. Um, mascots of some sort, right? Yeah. I assume that's. I got the idea for. from the other bear mascots on the floor. Uh, the, the other better mascots yeah. on the floor. <laughs> yes, yeah. So, so you do see a couple of bear mascots. They do not look very good at all. Um, they're really cartoony, but just in general, fairly cheap, fairly cheap costumes. I mean, come on, guys. It's it's regional Honeycon. I get yeah. it. Yeah. I oh, found no, the is, the super national Honeycon. Oh, this, this is, is national a big Honeycon. deal. <laughs> this is taking I... up an arena. Um, I would want to look for things I, I posted the super realistic Coca-Cola puppet bear but like uh, the scarf is a good one or like yeah. a banner that we could make into a sash or something uh, just something that's like hey we're here on purpose and uh, representing something okay so, uh, we're so looking are for you stuff heading like down to the show floor uh, I guess I'm scanning it from where I am but if I don't see anything from up here then uh, Might from, be... from where you are, the only thing of note to see, aside from what I've already explained, is the gentleman who was um, was talking about honey and cursing to the crowd um, is going from, like, table to table, uh, just examining in, like, detail. He's got, like, one of those jeweler's eyepieces, and he's just looking at honeycombs and looking at everything, looking at the honey and just tasting the honey at each each stand and kind of judging each person um, with his eyes. Not really talking about it. Um, they seem to kind of just give him space. Um, so he's clearly someone of authority at this con, um, but that's all you can tell. Uh, do we see any of those other uh, things he was holding uh, anywhere? Uh, he wasn't holding anything. He was just talking with his hands. Oh, I meant the thing. I I meant he, the way he's sampling the honey. I thought you mentioned that he, he was holding like a magnifying. Oh, thing you or know, something. it's it's just he's just got an eyepiece. He's just really oh. into honey. Is the point? Oh, like a jeweler. Yeah, is like there, a, jeweler, uh... a jeweler's eyepiece, and he's using it to examine the honey crystals up close to make sure that that it's it's perfect because he doesn't want he... anything going wrong at his honey con, and he's he's just. He's really into honey. And you know uh, this because it the, says so on the back of his suit. It just he says, mentioned the I'm really into the, honey. Really into honey. <laughs> it's like the Matthew Lesko of honey, yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, exactly. That's exactly who it is. Thank you. Uh, so he mentioned the raffle earlier. Do we see where to get the raffle tickets from? Um, You do see... Try big, to win the raffle? You do see a big sign the, that says raffle here. Um... And uh, and there there's people milling about in front of it. Um, I think you could say that most people have probably picked up their their tickets already. Um, but and then there's a, a sign that says um, five dollars per ticket. Oh shit! Mm. Dollars, our nemesis. It's not even a f you know you have one free ticket. Wow. How much? Wait, humans use like a bartering system, right? How yeah. much? How much is that gun you stole worth? Is it worth five dollars? Oh, speaking of gun, where is it? Oh, it's under your hat. That's right. I put, I put mine under my hat at least. That's a good idea. Uh, why does the hat stay on? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just... a bear-sized hat. It just fits. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. It's a they good, put this tight hat enough on me, seal it's there. I can't get it off. I say we walk down to the the first honey booth we see. We slap the gun down on the counter and we see how much honey they give us. Holy shit! 
mean, I think I'm that's how one... you buy things. I'm on a one of bear okay, hold five on. Let, of me, let me look I'm up losing it. gun laws in North Dakota. <laughs> oh, you can I'm definitely open miss. carry in North Dakota, probably. Missable. But you probably can't do it at a convention center. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> but who knows? <laughs> look. We have to take some sort of decisive action. Unless there's a place Sorry. we can get to uh, uh, that yeah. looks like it might have a disguise material that isn't on the floor. Um, I, I actually, I have, I have an idea. Um, okay. I'm going to go... I, I'm going to walk over to where the uh, the, the weird honey dude is uh, judging some honey while he's while he's yes. doing a good deep yes. look with his jewel piece, I'm going to steal his wallet. <laughs> yes, that's what I was you're going to do. Okay, so so say that again. I'm sorry, I was reading about the horrific gun laws of North Dakota. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to follow the uh, the, the main right. honey dude uh, and wait until he's like really giving a piece of oh, honey. Oh, uh, he's, good he's, luck with okay, so you guys are on the floor and now you're 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 moving out doing guess, stuff yeah okay. we're, we're yeah. slinking down to the floor as okay as you move through the crowd as um there's a lot of people coming up to take pictures with you they just assume that that like like you're pretending to be a person in a costume is super working um so uh dull you're, and, so so he's bent far, over right. currently um looking really close to uh some hun 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 <laughs> honeycomb <laughs> And you want honey? I'm a, I'm a thief. I'm gonna try to pick pocket his wallet. Okay. Uh, roll yeah. criminal. Uh, two d six. What is? What is? Me want honey? Money. money. I got, uh, a five okay. and a one. You Just got okay. money so, for um, half the tickets. So I don't know. It's something. You you succeed in that. Um, but that is goes greed. So your bear goes down to two. Your criminal goes up to four. Okay. Um, but you now have his wallet. He did not notice. Um, he is just super into this honeycomb. How much cash do you have? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll walk away from him and uh, 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 carefully look at through the <laughs> paw through the wallet and see what comes out. Um, so in the wallet is his driver's license. Um, <laughs> uh, and his name is fuck. Um, <laughs> what a weird name. Even uh, I have some weird name. <laughs> His name is uh Jake Johnson. <laughs> no. Uh, <the> worse. <laughs> Not that guy. <laughs> and um who constantly says he's gonna join these and then never does. And then <laughs> um and then um uh so he's got his driver's license in there. Um He's got like you know those old. I don't think anyone carries them anymore. But you know those big fold-out photo things, the plastic mm -hmm. ones. Um, he's got that, and it's just pictures of honey. That's all it is. It's just like, uh -huh. honeycombs, and then like honey um, being you know those like little round stir things. Um, just yeah, honey dip dripping dip off dippers. of those. Um, he's got like a picture of a box of honey and a cheerios yeah. um this guy loves what, that what's those candies it. those like chewy bitto candies honey. bitto oh, honeys yeah. yeah he's got a picture of bitto honey um <laughs> uh, guy? pictures of oh. him outside of like other hives and stuff that he's went to like far like honey farms and stuff with him just giving big thumbs up um and usually with uh, other people, and those people do not look enthused at all to be around him. Um, and then there's mm. also twenty dollars. Okay, it, like like a twenty. It is a twenty. Is all he has in his wallet. Okay, I'm gonna resist the urge to put that in my mouth, and I'm going to <laughs> bring it bring it over at Chum. Is this money? Uh, yeah, all they hear is, oh, wait, who are you bringing it to? Oh, yeah. uh, two buds. Oh, okay. To the rest of the bit. <laughs> I thought you went to the <laughs> No, no. <laughs> <Take a counter laughs> away. It's just money, and I was going to say, all they hear is... <laughs> uh, no. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's money, all right, little green. Uh, uh, how much? I don't... That I don't know. I mean, it's a 20 on it. We can read it. Yeah, you can read yeah, for some suppose. reason. We've determined that. I, I know guess, it's yeah. 20 is more than 5. That's 20. 
Do we, can we do math as bears? Mm -hmm. uh, I I would say the hacker could probably do math. Yeah, as bears. Okay. I I take the twenty dollar bill. It's pretty I loose. Say, I I got this, and then mm -hmm. I uh, I. Take oh no! Wait, the, the brains. You're the brains. You know that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would I would know. Yeah, you know. would know. <laughs> Uh, the sleuth defined brains. Thing. Yeah. No it's stops 20. Me. It's definitely more than five. Where were you headed with it, you said? I'm going to go buy raffle tickets unless someone stops me. Go ahead. Yeah, I was uh, I was thinking of uh, trying to get oh, some I, money I, I, I take I take, I take that little photo jacket thing. I do put that in my mouth. <laughs> oh, this isn't real honey. <laughs> Why did I hear a burst of crowd noise? I, I oh, wanted you don't over know. To the you just heard it. Hmm. And and I'm like I'm Lean holding. About us. I'm holding. I, I'm I'm still moving as a mascot, and I'm holding the the uh, the twenty the twenty dollars in the air, and I've got my paw up with my claw spread for like the number four, and I go over to the raffle station. And the, yeah, I'm following behind, just kind of waving and and having like an open mouth that looks kind of like a smile and. <laughs> Everybody act so, casual. So, so okay. So you go over to the raffle table. Is it just? Yeah. In, in, is everybody going with you, or is it just Adam? Yeah, I'm following. Yeah, we're kind okay. of following. Okay, okay. so up the three appearances. of you go. Adam has split his nails apart in the hand <laughs> and of four, and <laughs> the polar bear is baring its teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna make you roll over bear again. <laughs> With this made-up <laughs> way of playing, it's the only thing I'm capable of right now. So. Rolling over bear, I got to get some honey. That's what that was gonna be my I, next I thing. Is like form the group that I have rolled one. <laughs> uh -oh. Wait, did I actually roll? No, I posted this bear again. All right, you know I I'm edited roll the bear for these people too. I'm, I don't know how this is gonna work, so I'm making it up. Okay, um, Jesus, I rolled so, a two. Just barely. <laughs> um, so, because I rolled so terribly for these people, um, they uh, remark about how... Uh, so they, they go, Wow, that costume's like super detailed. That's amazing. And then hands you... I, I rolled a one. Um, and so... And they hand <laughs> you... They hand you um, uh, four raffle tickets. I assume you put you already gave them the money. Yeah, I, I okay. gave him the money. Okay. Um, and then uh, what do you do now? So you got the four uh, tickets. You don't really so have any place I, to put them. That's fine. I, I, so while we're up here, do we see the Mega Honey by chance? Like, is it, like, behind a counter or is it around here? Since you we're by not, the top. You, you don't see anything that would make you think uh, Mega Honey anywhere. Is there um, is there is there just the regular honey? I think maybe we yeah, should. Yeah, there's tons you know, of regular honey, like all over the place. I need like, it. Yeah. I, that that one guy, I was just like taking it. So what I think if, it's like you know that was that was gonna be my plan. Was like I wanted to do a like a funny pantomime where I go down and like ask for honey very dramatically, like you, point you to the samples. Mean. And be you like, want to for me. by the booths? Is this where we're going? With? Yeah, just kind of walk by and be like, hey, everybody, okay. get a picture. Like, uh, you know, gather around and, and, and make the camera snap motion and then, like, have us hold up a bunch of honey and take pictures and then start eating it. Like, oh, 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 we're all having a great time. And just start downing samples. I am a bear eating That's honey my from a plastic bear. This is disgusting. Okay, so... <laughs> <I don't care. laughs> All right, so, so I, you're going to do that. I'm going to try to try to charm people through pantomime into letting me eat a bunch of their samples while people uh, hopefully find it endearing instead of scary. All right. Um, so they they are super on board with getting a picture with you. Uh, yes. Can but, I? Do I? Can I eat enough honey to put a point back into bear? Is my main concern. <laughs> Okay, so you are you're stealing the honey. Kind of. You're, you're easy. Well, okay, so they're samples though. So I'm not going to say you're stealing. The samples. Um, yeah. I'm invoking the other part of the rules that say uh, you can right. eat a load of honey, and I don't know if that counts as a load. 
<laughs> I'm going to say so. If tell me how you eat a load of honey in front of a bunch of people as a bear without them realizing that you're a bear. Uh, or I give would me be... an alternative. You like pour it, like hold, throw your mouth back. Yeah, I was gonna say taking like. If we're working with, like, little Dixie cups, it would be, like, put it way down into the back of my throat and, like, squeeze it out like I was, uh, like there was a human head back there somewhere. Okay. Uh, or just sort of comically, like, pour it all over my face and then gradually lick it up later. But, like, haha, I'm, oh, like, Pooh Bear, I got honey everywhere. Okay. I will say that works, and you are back to two and four. Enough to get a bear point back. All right, I can breathe easier. And Joel, you're still at at two and four. I don't know if you want to do the honey thing. I mean, what in Rome? And I would, <laughs> whatever I would that is, uh, for any kind of like, uh, I don't know, like a, a banner or or like a button that I could put on that's just like dress up the fur a little bit more and make it look more like a costume. But uh, so um. So, Dole, I'm just going to let you do that since Pipe got to do it. Um, Adam, they also hand you a thing of honey. You don't have to drink it if you want to just hang on to it. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just like, I'm going to hold it in my hand and like wave it around like I'm partying. So, like, okay. I, have, I have no um, impulse control. I down it immediately. Okay. I'm clearly into it, but I, I do not consume the honey at this moment. All right. But yeah, um, doing a lot of like, like wafting, un, so, you know, the honey up under the nose, like, mm, yeah, it's <laughs> like. Just a lot of, uh, a lot of good uh, character work. <laughs> so a as you um, kind of top wander out. through the show floor, you see like a swag booth um, that has like uh, yeah. normal swag. So it has like the stuff for lanyards, um, but not the actual lanyards themselves. The like little connector nice. things, um, pins, like writing pins, um, like a. a tote bags with just honey con on it uh um uh pin like pins that you would put on something uh they that have say honey con on it like 8xl t-shirt uh <laughs> i don't think i don't they think do there's not anything have any t-shirts that would fit a bear yeah that said yeah. you have passed two humans in bear costumes wearing honey con shirts sure. that were made specifically for their costumes, which would probably fit you. <laughs> but we'd have to get them off <laughs> those top, bears. Top of that, right? shirts. <laughs> uh, a, yeah, I don't think I would steal any of this merch. I, I'm uh, going to take say. one of the tote bags. And I'm, well, I'm, I'm actually going to hand everyone else a tote bag, too. Because like, the tote bag could come in handy. And, and it's also, like, branded merch. So, like, I... I as I grab the tote bag, I just, like, kind of, like, raise it to the crowd that's, like, looking for a photo, just, like, like, hey! You know, just Yeah, to... you kind of have, like, a, a group of people following you. Yeah, just, like, a pump up yeah, the crowd. So, yeah. Like, yeah, we all just grab one and, and don't look at the person it, manning the booth. Just, over my palm. <laughs> yeah, we just sort of hang it like a purse and do a little wave. <laughs> right? You love it. <laughs> yeah, um, they do love it. It's good we publicity. just... Can we just start filling these up with honey? Yeah, I'm, I'm like looking for like little little squeeze bottles of honey and stuff, and I and I, I want to pick it up and like like mime that I'm like comically gonna eat it, and instead I just like put it in the bag and then I move on to the next. So food. so I would say that the like little honey bear things aren't for you to take. Are you trying to sneak these into your bag or? Are, I, I'm I was, actually like I was starting I mean, with free samples because there's a crowd around. Because there's no other explanation for there being bears on the floor other than it being a promotional thing. Yeah, I'm like, we're, we're kind of banking like that everyone. Not banter, you know, like how like instead of hitting someone with a cake, I'm just like comically, okay, like right. visually, like right, taking. But you're honey. still tying the sleight of hand into your bag. I'm not really. I no. I'm like intentionally putting it in the bag. Oh, in front okay, of like them trying to get. Back. So you're trying to convince the the people to do the thing that you're doing, like buy this. Yeah, stuff. I'm. I'm like trying to like uh, like get the get the crowd into it, okay. and then the vendor would just like yeah. Let me All do right. It, so like, so as as you're doing that, you you hear the people at the 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 tables like talking to each other about the three of you, wondering where you're from, who do you work for, do you work for them. <laughs> Like, they're very confused, I, um, and some of them I, are I, getting suspicious I, at this point. 
I, I, I turn around. Is I it hold getting one, results? I hold one claw from my paw up, and I like, I like give them the sh- symbol, and then I wink. So you're not you're not saying like this is good honey you should buy it you're like hey watch me steal this <laughs> I, i'm really i moved into like stadium mascot assholery is what i've done at this point yeah so they're they're looking a little concerned <laughs> look we're just three three bear mascots that are all the hamburglar one of them has pulled out their cell phone and has started <laughs> dialing on it <laughs> Don't worry uh, about it. Tip, uh, the, tip my cowboy hat and move on. Let's uh, move on and maybe try to find a yeah. lead on the, the Mega Honey. Yeah, we should, uh, we should do that. Um, All right, so as you're walking uh, away from that table um, with your ill-gotten honey, um, you hear, uh, like, people are, you know, normal crowd stuff. Um, and you, you like are walking near, you see the, the gentleman from earlier, Jake Johnson, um, uh, talking on, talking on his phone. And so you only hear one side of the conversation and and you hear what, what do you mean? They got knocked out. Like what's going on? There's a what? What's embedded in the wall? Why didn't you call me sooner? This is fine. (laughs) Mm. <laughs> well, you better make sure that the that the prize is locked down. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, just mm-hmm. double, double, double the guards. I mean, what are you doing? It's very important. Lock it down. Fine, I, I'll, I'll go check too because I don't trust <laughs> you idiots. And then he, he walks off um, towards. Uh, well, he he walks um, basically towards this direction right here. Because uh, these are these are up, and this is like a a path into the onto the floor oh, from the lower part. You know, yeah, like, like where, where, where like uh, in a yeah, basketball game, like up. the basketball players and stuff would come out of. That's, that's yes, kind of what those doors are. Yeah, literally need, exactly what I thought at the same time. We need yeah. to tail that maniac. Yeah, I think it's uh, probably time to get off the floor anyway. So uh, let's uh, give him a, give him a nice wave and, uh, but uh, you know, keep it. We'll, we'll start trending toward that guy's direction without making it too obvious. Yeah. We, yeah. I, I want to fall right behind him, but uh, we will follow him from a distance. Uh, on our way out, before we exit the uh, the the hall, are there still people like behind us? Um, they're they're still like following you. Um, in in thinking you're just amazing. Um, but a, as you get to the the doors, um, as you're following the the gentleman. Um, and as you get to the doors, uh, there are two guards at the door. They just assume that you work there uh, because you're mascots, and so they uh, they just they stop the crowd from following you through the through the same place that the uh, that Jake went. Nice. Yeah. I, 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 I kind of slouch a bit, like uh, like a like getting off the clock. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at the Ooh, that was exhausting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Slump. Hold up the little badge and shake my head like, sorry guys, need one of these. <laughs> uh, anyway. And then just, yeah, make it uh, out of sight of the guards yeah, as soon as possible. And, let, and let's sneak behind uh, where this guy is so we can we can tail him. So sneak I'm going to say, perfect. during the whole, like, tote bag thing, you each only got one honey. I'm not letting you get that, more than yeah, that. Yeah, no, you're not going to let me take infinite honey. I was, the reason why I actually asked him was follow me because I was like, I was going to like just like throw all the honey up into the air. To, like, actually, Adam, like, you have two because you didn't drink that's, the first I, one. Yeah. So I have one in the bag, but I think you said I had the other one like in a Dixie cup. So yeah, like I you're can't, carrying can't around. You're still it. carrying it around. I'm, yeah. I'm just carrying around a cup. <laughs> very believable human prop. Yep. <laughs> the other option was to throw the Dixie cup of honey in the guard's face. But yeah. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> how, 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 end up being necessary. <laughs> Uh, and so as you walk by the guards, they both just nod to you as people who are also working. Like, you know, that, that normal, like, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, we're uh, just like... Mm-hmm. Well, I love that they have a few people in mascot costume, because then they're just going to assume that we're way better versions of that. But they're they're used to seeing a big animal walking around today, of all days at least. 
Okay, so um, as you follow uh, Jake, I assume you're following fairly decently behind him. You're like not right directly yeah. behind him. Okay. I mean, we, we are we are predators, so we know how to stop someone. Yeah, you know, without... stealth as three real ass bears could possibly. People just hand me bamboo. I guess, yeah, you, you are technically an herbivore. <laughs> I have no survival instincts. <laughs> so as you go through, so um, pandas are through, on the top five. Bite you do, strength. You do apparently. see to your right. A red box that says pull in case of fire uh, <laughs> uh, to your left um i mean that looks like a bathroom to me i'm gonna call that a bathroom right here this is a bathroom um yeah and, that and, would, yeah it makes sense and then um but you see as you come through you see him uh take a hard left and head this direction down a hallway yeah yeah down down this hallway Okay, I'm going to keep following, I guess. Based on my amazing bear sense of navigation, I think we're at the top of those blue meeting rooms from the map. <laughs> no, because you guys had, uh, you said bears have an excellent memory, so I'm taking that as uh, sure. you, you basically just have this locked in yeah, your head. Yeah, Snapped a picture. Yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, if, if we go by the idea that the the uh, shaded rooms might be more important. We're gonna start uh, keeping it, I guess, fine tune the nose for for Mega Honey. I don't know what exactly you would do. I guess just keep following the guy for now. But yeah, yeah. So so as you're following the guy, you're getting away from like, this away. area. So the the honey smell that you had before is is way you know is is getting less. I mean, it's still pervasive, but it's getting less as you, as you move away. Um. As you're walking by the meeting rooms, you hear just various people um, giving talks about um, uh, about um, how honey can be used for, or how honey has been in, used in past civilizations um, for uh, antiseptics um, to be put on wounds and um, things like that. And uh, you pass a room where they're talking about the benefits of honey NyQuil, which is the worst thing in the world. Is that a real uh, thing? Yes, it's awful. Never oh buy it. Oh my god, I it, wouldn't. It made me wretch when I tried it. I, I don't actually like honey very much. I, see, I, I love honey. Honey's good, it's, yeah. But it still tastes like NyQuil with fake honey in it. It's oh, the that's... worst. No, um, I've never seen that, and I'm really glad. because that... uh, You pass another meeting room where you hear this someone will... talking about um, uh, honey liqueur and like honey whiskey and things like that so like all the honey topics are being covered um and he continues down the hall and then he just he goes this way um he goes like through the door at the hall and and disappears again as you're following him after him yep, we're we're creeping all right creeping along. do you go through the Is there any uh, he went through a door. Yeah, he are there through... any samples of that uh, honey whiskey or anything? Yeah. Uh, are you going like so? Like I would say meeting honey. room three is where the honey whiskey was being talked about. Uh, no, I would, I would like yeah, do a, a longing we, 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 sniff we as I walk by. Yeah, like you, that. you don't, you don't necessarily smell um, the items that they're talking about coming from these rooms. Um, it's boring the, human the talk. The really strong honey smell is coming from the the arena. Yeah, right, let's go. They didn't. They didn't bring any samples. This is just a bunch of squares talking about business. They're, they're just right. talking. They're not doing. Are you just going through that door? Yeah. Okay. Keep, so keep creeping after him. So you go through the door. You see him hang a right here, um, and go up. Oh, he's going up into this top section. He. He. You see him come up here. So I assume you're just still following him, but at a at a yeah. distance. Um. He. Uh. He swings a right. Oh, right up there. Okay. He is headed toward the back, yeah, back corner the, or the back the ball. Corner. I'll go to the corner and peek around it just to make sure. He's... Yeah, and you you um you see him duck into this room right here. That room. Okay. Do we go? Do we Are any fire alarms you? around here? Since we're in a big public quarter. Yeah. So so I would say there's probably a fire alarm along this wall right here. The, yeah. The opposite of the corner that you're you're around. Fire button. See, mm -hmm. if we if we want to make fire and get people out of here, 
it would clear out the convention, and we could we could only deal with this these guys. Are we gonna are we gonna try to abscond with the honey, or are we just gonna sit in this room and eat it while the fire alarm goes off? I mean, I think we need to get back to the Yukon and make a break for it. Uh, like I, like I said, when when humans when humans you know fairly or unfairly accuse someone of doing something. They tend to come back in, in stronger numbers, so I think we should be out of here once we, we get it. We hit the we hit the fire button and blow up the building, and <laughs> uh, we go in there. We fill our tote bags with the super honey, and then we flee along with everyone else and get in our GMC Yukon and uh, go back to uh, that place where there were less people, so we can eat all the honey. Just out in the yes. middle of the nature sanctuary. Uh, I yeah, I think that's a good plan. Maybe we. Uh, Blorpius even get to blast through the wall up there. We, we, when we're done, we go through that north wall. That'll put us out in the parking lot. <laughs> maybe, That's, I don't know. Maybe all three of us take a run at the wall at the same time. <laughs> I'm not that. I'm not that strong, but <laughs> you're a bear. <laughs> I, I was yeah, I'm a vegetarian. I looked it up. They uh, p- crushing all that bamboo. Pandas are in the top five bite strength of all animals up there, yeah. and uh, so are are the grizzly and the polar bear too. And then there's like hippos and lions. Don't sell yourself short, buddy. Okay, you're up so, here with the hippos and the lions. So what are you doing? Yeah. Are you ra- are you pulling uh, think, the fire alarm? I think it's time to make fire. We pull the fire and get some fire. All right. So all right. I, I concur. I, this is a smart plan. Stuff is going to happen. All right. Brain, so, brain guy did it. Said it. I, I do not have a sound. Well, I have this. I have this angry mob sound. Will this work? Let's see. I'm oh, no, spoke that doesn't again. work. Anyway, okay. Uh, let's try this one. Yeah, okay. So, uh, a but people just are pouring out of the convention center. Um, they're coming through, like, this door, the middle... Um, here and they're they're heading out. They're going through um, fire exits um, along in the back and just you know generally leaving. They're not really coming your direction because that would that's not really a place that they would. Um, the meeting rooms are pouring out. Um, you just hear a bunch of people moving and murmuring and, and talking as the the alarm goes off, which I also don't have. Um, I wasn't prepared for you to pull a fire alarm. Um, <laughs> I think that's for the best. I, I don't I need guess, to hear a fire. I guess, I guess a fire. fire. I, I guess it made the fire in the other part of the building, and people are running from the fire, but I mean, it I got the building, so it did what we wanted. Well, no, no, we're, I'm not done narrating. There's this more stuff happening. So this that happened. Um, <laughs> so, and then in this other room, you, you can the room that Jake went in, you can hear him arguing with um, with uh, <laughs> some people, but it's, it's muffled, and he, he uh, opens the door, and you hear him say, fine, fine like it, you guys don't have to stay in here for the fire and he um and so oh, the guards pour out um he comes in and he comes out behind them he shuts locks the door types some stuff on a keypad and then the guards come towards you and he comes towards you so uh, you have, around you the have, corner you have five guards and jake johnson walking towards where you are is there anywhere to hide in this corner? Have, they have noticed that they like because you were peeking around they have noticed that you are not running and they find that suspicious and you're near the fire alarm that is pulled and they find that suspicious so they are coming directly at you what do you do um i mean i guess the jig is up so uh (laughs) i think uh we we go it's time for us to go It's, it's bear fight time uh, I don't know about you two, but if I think actually this is a good time to combo method and try firing the gun in the air first. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I seems like a bad idea. With gunfire. Imagine you're walking down a hallway and you see a bear take a gun out from under its hat and <laughs> fire it in the air. Are yeah. you saying you'd be like, wait a minute, what's happening? Well, I, I assume those what? five guards are also, they also well, have guns. They, they are definitely armed, yes. That's true. So, I think we should just bum rush them and uh, take them out with our bear strength. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Alright. So, if no other. no other no other thing. I'm, I'm actually going to do a, a panda special. I'm going to roll to a ball and just roll at one to take out their legs. 
<laughs> okay. Just, do we do we want to yeah. walk at them like waving like oh hey buddy oh, no, hey Dolan what's up? Said what he's doing. Right. He's rolling for it. Roll bear and um. Panda special move. Uh, I said no. It's not. <laughs> there's none of your things match. So I, that's a one d six. I mean, yeah. Oh, the only thing I could say is I'm doing. Uh, I roll a five. <laughs> uh, okay. No. So that's a failure. Yeah. Um, so put a point into bear. So you went okay. four and five. Four. So you you uh you attempt this roll. What? And you attempt this roll, <laughs> and um. And as as you roll down the corridor, you get a whiff of bamboo. You get startled oh, yeah. and get out of the roll. And so right now you're just prone on the ground, very distracted. You addict. No. <laughs> I need more bamboo. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Pipe or Adam, what do you do? Uh, I am going to... And you I'm can do to things run. together, but tell me that you're doing them together. I'm going to yeah. run at the firing the gun, just like in the air, trying to terrify them to running away. Okay, yeah, I'll... I actually would do the same. I, I think it's after we see Dole uh, fail his, his bear attack, we just sort of nod and be like, let's go for shock and awe. Okay, are you acting bear-like? You're not acting human-like anymore? But also yeah, firing again. Yeah, I'm, I'm like a bear. Yeah, I'm a bear with a gun. This one. Yeah. <laughs> oh it's man. Possible, yeah. I don't know if this is criminal or bear. <laughs> uh, well, it's both. Bear really. criminal. Uh, I feel like the yeah, gun has got to be criminal. Right? Yeah. So I'm gonna say, um, Adam, you get two d six. Pipe, you get one d six. Not uh, well, slick. I got a four and a two. So one is a success. Okay. What'd you get, Pipe? Oh, I got a five, which is my... Wait, no, it's not no, my criminal roll anymore. Not under I'm back, I was going I'm to let you go with two either four. one. Um, I was going to let you go with either one. Um, so, Pipe fails. Uh, I, Adam, I can't Adam get succeeds. my claw through the trigger guard or whatever. Uh, so, like, Pipe, you're back to three and three because uh, of the failure. Adam, you're okay. at... Um, uh, what did I decide that was? Bear? Because it's terrifying. Yeah. So, so you're at 4-2. Um, yeah. And um, so Pipe failed. You succeeded. Um, the guard that uh, Pipe was going for uh, isn't phased. Uh, Pipe, do you want to narrate your failure here? Like, what happens? I can do it if I you I would imagine it's like... I, I would pull the gun out from under my hat with one hand and then try to get my claw through the trigger guard and it's like trying to thread a needle. Like I keep bumping. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, hold on. No. <laughs> hold on. And so he probably just sees a bear come and like pull a gun out and fumble with it for a while and then probably like drop it. Okay. Not and particularly terrifying. So so the guy's not ter so the, the the guard so there are five guards, obviously there there are two, two and one in the back. Um, one of the guards is very distracted by what happened to to Dole. <laughs> um, another guard has walked up next to him um, to see what's going on because he he couldn't see what he's kind of just shocked about. Sees you fumble with the gun and is just completely nonplussed and and basically aims his gun at you. And then. Um, Adam, you're affecting one guard, but you tell me what happens. Uh, I just like kind of like it. Okay. It looks like a, a madman who, or, or mad person who's just like trying to make himself as tall as possible. And since I'm a fucking grizzly bear, that means like with my arms in the air, I'm like 12 feet tall, just like waving around, kind of like the inflatable like car thing, the the inflatable like balloon man, whatever. And, but I'm also firing a gun, uh, so it is it is extra terrifying to him as he like as he is like getting impinged upon. Uh, okay, so that guard drops his gun and just sprints away um, out the the doors in the back here um, to the outside while Jake is yelling at him to come back. 
<laughs> um okay uh so the guards are going to do something um so the guard who has ha is aiming his gun he is going to um fi fire at pipe yeah oh, i mean shit. i'm a bear so if you, so you do it bears i'm either a bear or a thief in a bear costume so either way he's doing the right thing he is distracted enough by dole just prone on the ground that he whiffs his shot somehow and um, just hits a like a fluorescent light in the back. So now you have a flickering fluorescent light going on in the back, setting the mood of what's happening. <laughs> and um, and then the one who is distracted by Dole is going to roll um, with uh, Jesus Christ. Um, he is just, he kind of feels bad for you and actually bends down because you're a panda and everybody thinks pandas are like the cutest thing in the world. Wow. Um, I, uh, I'm, I moan in, uh, a cute and helpless <laughs> fashion. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I, I, like, there's no real order here. You can tell me what you do. It's just, I have to go through all three of you before we do move on. So you are down to... Uh, one really one guard who has one less bullet in his gun, one guard who is super enamored with Dull, and one who has run away. So you still have four guards plus Jake. What's next? It's just a lot of guards. Uh, is this like I only have one action? Or can I just pull up one thing? <laughs> uh, tell me what you want to do because this is really loose. Uh, I kind of before I lose the ability to. Uh, like before I lose the, the cup of honey, I want to down the honey like a shot. Okay. To bring you and back then, to three uh, to three. Okay. Yeah, back to three to three. Okay. Uh, before I lose, before I lose it when I maul someone. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> I guess we gotta maul some other fuckers, right? <laughs> yeah, that was gonna be my suggestion. Okay. Like, all right, gun didn't work, I plan didn't have. work. Yeah. Okay, Time for bear. Uh, so you have. Two in the back who have basically readied their weapons at this point. You have the one distracted by Dole, the one trying to figure out why he missed because that's nonsense. Polar bears are huge. And uh, which one are you picking? Uh, I, I'm i going to barrel into one of the ones in the back that's good. It's like leveling their gun on us. Okay, roll uh, 2d6. Okay, all right, here we go. Roll a two and a five. Okay, so that's one success? Yeah. Okay, um, so that moves you into criminal again, so you're, you're at yeah. three, four, or two, four. Two, four. Um, <laughs> narrate what happens. Uh, I just, I'm just like a giant furry bowling ball that's like, growl, like roaring and snuff and like snarling, like gross, gross like fluid is like, I've got like honey dripping from my lips and I'm just like, I'm, I'm in like I'm in like the moment of the bear where like I'm I'm like eating the honey and I'm balling people and I'm like oh, I'm gonna get you Chris and then, and then I like charge into the guy. <laughs> Deep backstory, some <laughs> nemesis to rival his friendship with Timothy. Oh, Timothy! I went to shout at Timothy. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, I, Timothy. I, uh, Chris <laughs> maybe killed <laughs> Timothy and we just didn't know about it. I mean, yeah. one was a friend, one was an enemy. I forget. <laughs> um, okay, so so did I'm sorry. What happened? I got distracted I, by Chris. I, I basically I charged into him like with the full mass of the bear body weight. Okay. And I was like a fling into him. It's so like getting hit by hit. a whole marble movie or something. Okay, hold on. Hoping to do a bowling pin like. Okay, you back hit him hard enough guys. where he hits the guy. Um, oh no, there's nobody behind him. So he just goes flying down the hall. <laughs> um, he he's down. He's not moving. His gun is flown out of his hands. He's he's probably dead. Yeah. Uh, so, probably, to be honest. Okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> I would like, if possible, to grab the gun arm of the guy who shot at me and try to pull it off of his body. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> roll. Uh, I roll must there. disarm the security guard. Look, you, if you uh, shoot at Bear in close quarters, you you know what's going on. You asked for it. You, you, you had to step in. God damn it, I don't think. Nope, I'm at three and three, so I rolled a five. Um, oh, man. 
What? You rolled three and three? No, I'm I'm at a three and three again, and I rolled oh. a five. Okay. So you have to get uh, under, right? So, oh man, how the fuck? Do you want to narr you... narrate this failure? I'll do it. Uh, I mean, it would be like I just sort of end up slapping at his arm, or you know, I, I, I misjudge. I would say it. Uh, you misjudge how hard to hold on, and you end up ripping his sleeve off. You just see this really jacked arm. Let's comically rip it off yeah, like over just, the gun and he's still yeah. holding on to the gun. Yeah, he's still holding on to the gun and he's just got just super rip muscles. Yeah, I make a face like, God damn it. Uh, uh Dole, what are you doing? You're on the ground. Even um, in scaring people. And, and this dude that. is super close to you. <laughs> This dude, this dude is super like feeling sorry for me, uh, so I'm gonna like, go, <laughs> and then I'm gonna pull out his leg and uh, pull him onto his back and have his head hit the floor. Uh, the old Belgian takedown. Okay, uh, roll bear. Okay. Uh, one. <laughs> yeah, so that's a success. Um, and that moves you. God, where the fuck are you? You're at four and two, so now you're at five bear, one criminal. Mm -hmm. Um, so he he oh, goes yes. he goes down, he hits his head. It's not enough to knock him out, but it's enough to daze him. Good enough um, for me. All right, so he's dazed. He's not going to do anything. You got um the one that <laughs> the pipe messed up, um, and then you got so you got two two left doing things this round, and then uh, Jake. Um, who is slowly moving to back to the door uh, that he locked. All right, so, um, Pike. So is he, he has noticed the bears at this point. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. He knows um, what's but, going on. But, yeah, so he, uh, so he has retreated a little bit back to the door to um, try and uh, protect the, the mega honey or whatever the hell it's called, ultra honey. Um... Well, now I'm getting frustrated. Now I'm and, uh, and four so and two bear. This guy is going to take another shot at you. He does. It hits, but you're a goddamn bear. It doesn't fucking do anything because it's a fucking hand, hand cannon. It doesn't do anything. It's a pistol. What it? What's it going to do? You're a bear. How? Um, Your rules great. Let's see. Would the, a nine millimeter hurt a bear? I mean, no. it'll hurt, but it's not well, going to yeah. stop it. Um, so, so you're slightly hurt, and I would say you are more angry than you were before. Um, and then, uh, so this other uh, guard in the back uh, fires, um, but his gun actually jams, so he doesn't get a shot off. Back up to you guys. I will, I, I stand up. So it says that they, they can hear me, or I can speak in like mangled, roaring English, right? Maybe. Uh, I, yeah. I would like to see to what you could do. Uh, 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 I would like to roar uh, your honey or your life <laughs> in my, the, the loudest way that I can. Oh my god, cats. Uh, so I'm going to say roll for terrify. So 2d6 again. All right. A four and a three. Uh, that fails. Yeah. So all, all they hear is... <laughs> uh, that right. does roll you back into three to three, though. Okay. Are they freaked out because the bear is obviously trying to communicate? Uh, they're very confused. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, there's probably a lot of that going around. Pipe, Dole, which hallway. one of you want to go next? Uh, I have an idea about the top half of the fucker, but you can do something else if you want. I was gonna say, now that I've been sufficiently enraged, I want to try one more time for just just a straight up mauling of the guy who shot me. Just okay, raking claws. Come on, dice. I know you got it in yous. That's a four is a tie at this point. I just I just think I realized something by the way, which is what I was trying to get at. But I lost track of what yeah. you were doing. So you're four and two. Okay. So yes. So four is. A tie for Equal, bear. So it succeeds. Um, so narrate your mauling of this gentleman. Uh, I just want to give like a good old like overhand swipe just down the torso. And uh, I don't know if it's like assumed to be a one hit kill bear v human. But I think with the polar bears uh, size disparity, it probably would be. Uh, so yeah, like just just a straight tear from like 
shoulder like it was a like a Miss America sash from shoulder down to hip across the torso. All right. So he uh, he gets sliced. It goes straight up his torso through his face. Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> uh, and he just goes toppling over and you just and he, he like grabs at the, the dude who's dazed on the ground. And he just says, tell my wife I love her. And then he dies. Wow. I'll tell her. Don't Dole. Worry. Dole, what are you doing? Uh, so, uh, I'm not. Your, guy, your I'm guy's not... on the ground. You're still on the ground. You haven't gotten up. Oh, you're okay. prone. How far away from I am from uh, Jake Johnson? Um, let's see. So there's one guy up still. So you'd have to deal with him. Um, I would say he'd take an opportunity attack. I don't know what that would be, but uh, you you could make it to him on this like move. Okay. Um, to make it to the other security guard. You could make it to the other security guard, or you could push past him and get to to Jake. He's just at the door. So like your, I, your fight's kind of happening here. The door is right here, so you're not that far away. Okay. Yeah, I want to. I'll ignore the other two because I'm not. I, I, I'll think of myself as a pure killer. Like these are these are two gods. Listen, I I ran into him. I didn't claw him. I'm not. I'm like this. Uh, I'm not like this other psychopath. <laughs> Shot me. You think blood stained red polar bear? Only. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get into view of, of uh, Jake Johnson, get his attention. Oh, I mean, he you have his attention. He's oh. he's still watching this as okay. He's, from he's... from where from where I am, then I'll uh, I'll point it. I'll make eye contact with him. I'll point at his top hat. I'll point at my top hat, and <laughs> I will pull out his driver's license and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> regurgitate the photos I swallowed from his wallet. It's <laughs> <laughs> sort of like with my pog and like come come hit come over here I'm like a, a a neo. Oh my <laughs> god, crazy. what the fuck would I call that? What is that role? <laughs> Does I'm he just think you're trying to like become him? You're trying to steal his identity? I'm gonna <laughs> say that he he's super confused. It's identity theft, maybe he's, that's he criminal. He sets his hat down because he thinks that you want his hat, just and then massive. he runs down the hall and goes out the door. <laughs> no. Uh, if we need him for anything, I don't know. We, we got a hacker. Head. We have a hacker. Oh well. I did so, something that go tor tor horribly mangle his soul, so I'm happy. I was gonna to say that was immense psychic damage. <laughs> Whatever you did, yes. this bear attacked us and it killed our guards. One of them had a gun, and another one had my driver's. I mean, license. this is this is definitely like a looper moment where like you're confronted with your future self as your killer. Like it's gotta fuck him up. <laughs> it's like explaining a nightmare to somebody. That's for life. I'm pretty... happy with that. <laughs> That's my bear turn. had my It'll turn. Be okay. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, who's believe. left? I think we've all taken we all, our okay, so that's it. So uh, we have what? Two left. So we have the, the guy on the ground. He gets up. I mean, oh, you boys are dead. And like, he, he looks back and he sees that his boss ran and he yeah. drops his gun and runs. That's the right move. And it basically says, this isn't worth it. And he pushes past his, his uh, buddy. Um, his buddy, however, um, has unjammed his gun and takes a shot at wow. the grizzly, um, wow. which again, does nothing. <laughs> I, I looked that up too. And it's like the foot pounds aren't there to break their skin. Like it's just maybe if you shot them in the mouth or the eyeball or whatever, but otherwise it's just... Like not, not sufficient penetration. Oh, Dole. So your your stats went from four to back to four uh, two. If you okay. didn't grab that, because that that was, I don't, I still don't understand what you're trying to do, but it worked. So, <laughs> uh, uh, the, the end result was acceptable. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, you have his hat, so I'm gonna say that sure. Now you got his hat. Um. Uh. So got, who wants to? Then you got one job. dude left. I mean, after he shoots at me, I'm just gonna like go right up to his face and just fucking scream in his face. All right, two just have the spookiest like bear bear saliva scream in his face. Right. Give him the big. I'm gonna be looking all embarrassed. Like, hey, were we not the killing the annihilation people? move? 
<laughs> I, I would rather get a terrify attack on him than, than a maul attack is, is the catch. I suppose. Okay, I actually rolled a double one on that. So. Okay, um, so I'm just going to call that a great success. And the dude, um, his pants get wet and he goes <laughs> sprinting out of the door. So you now basically have this convention center to yourself as far as you're concerned. Yes. Honey. We gotta get that honey. We gotta get the loot. We gotta, we gotta, first things first, we gotta get the mega honey. I look in the guy's top hat. Is there a key card in there? <laughs> there is not. Damn it. <laughs> is the door locked into the mega honey? Yeah, he locked it. Uh, yeah, if, if you try the door, it, it doesn't open. And like, there's I said, a key card though. Oh, yeah, there's, I, there's I, a key I just card. shrug and I run at the door. Okay, uh, uh, give me a barrel. roll. You have a dead security guard. You might have a. Uh, you you are at four two by the way. I'm there. at four two now. Okay. Or no no wait that's that that was a success so you're there. at you're at two four. Okay two four. Okay. Uh, maybe someone else wants to roll to bust through this door then because I'm not going to be very successful at two four. Uh, you want to try hacking uh, to keep head? Dole and Pipe are both at four two. Uh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're higher bear. Do you want to try hacking uh, it yeah, while you're let's, while you roll? Let's, let's try hacking. Let's, let's okay. Let's uh, so the... roll criminal. Rolling criminal. Okay, and Hack that's two d six because you're a hacker. Roll. I got t double three, so that is a success. Okay. Um. So the the narrate how you are hacking because it's my favorite thing. Trying to think of a bear. <laughs> I I. <laughs> I I go up to the keypad and I, I study it. I like look at it from all sides. I I pull out one claw and I and I like very skillfully pop off the front of the keypad and then I accidentally like jam my claw deep into it and I like short it in just the right way to open up the door. Okay. Uh so um you hear a click as the, the door lock um comes undone the door's still shut but uh but yeah <laughs> I, if not uh, if there's no other danger imminent i would head for the door yeah, let's uh, head into you, the door. you both before you open the door you do um sense the smell of um ozone mm. electricity hmm maybe i won't touch this door Smells like the electric fences back at the old compound. Hmm. Or uh, can, something you just shorted out. I, I would like to just like kick open the doors without going through them. Okay. Like we just swipe at them and push them open. I'm going to stand you, back a little bit. You kick open the door, um, and as you kick the door open, it, it basically slams into the, the like sheetrock, right? Um, because yeah. you, you're a bear. Yeah. And uh, the sheetrock <laughs> dust just kind of just spreads out um, into the room, in, at least in the area you're in, and you see tripwires uh, light up the floor. Damn it. Uh, Human <laughs> shit. I... Is it like a, is, is it like a grid? Like a, what's that stupid fucking Captain Zaya Jones movie? It, it's not... I nuts like that there's just tripwire like there's not like you're not gonna have to dance around them okay. like that but there are <laughs> like you see several tripwires um going through the room i i i want to go get one i want to go into the hallway and i'll take like the the grievously injured guard that's like dead and i just like take him in my snout and i just like toss him into the room under the tripwires uh so <laughs> He's what? dead. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> they got no soul. Wait, I mean, they could just be like alarms or lockdown or something. Yeah, I don't know if they're locked it down. Lasers that are going to oh, yeah, pop them up, but who knows? All right. So you... Open the airproof lockdown. Good luck with that, dude. Tell me where you are in the room. No, I'm not in the room when I do that. I'm okay. like outside okay. of the room. Outside of the room. Are yeah. you just right outside of the door? Yeah, I'm outside of the door. Yeah. Okay. Are all of you in that general <laughs> vicinity? I would yeah, be a okay. little further back in the hall, but yeah, okay. not not like snout to the door. Okay, uh, so you chuck him in, you hear beep 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 beep, and then a boom, um, which uh, and, and you just see like you know ceiling tiles and stuff fall, um, uh, and it blew up like 
that one blew a hole into the hallway. So now there's another way to get into that room. Um, but you, because that threw up even more dust, you see more into the room. But at the very end of the room, you see um, uh, basically it's it's uh, um, like a honey pot, like just a massive honey pot. Um, uh, you can't see in it, but it, it's just a big honey pot that's just like gold plated. Uh, and it has a, a uh, like a stopper on the top. Like we're going full full like Winnie the Pooh garbage, right? Yeah, it's, really a Winnie the Pooh it's a really style. big Winnie the Pooh style honey pot with a stopper in it. <clears throat> so and, did and, I understand? And a little really shitty like like like, actually, like you know when you take the actually explosive. You know you take the cardboard and you fold it, and someone has just scribbled on it for raffle, and it's just sitting next to it. <laughs> what were what were you saying? Adam. I said, so did I understand that what just happened was literally like an explosive tripwire? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I think we should just start taking shit and throwing it in the room and trip the tripwires. <laughs> that might blow up all the honey, though. I guess that's possible. Uh, I, I would say that that there there re there isn't a tripwire that you can see that's close enough to the honey that would destroy the honey. Yeah. All right. Just uh, start keeping <laughs> chairs and shit and tripping them. Uh, yeah. So you keep doing that. You keep hearing the the beeping and the explosion as the walls just keep falling down. Um, and now you <laughs> I can throw just, the dude's top hat at one. Uh, you throw the top hat. Um, it it like very slowly kind of floats down, hits it, explodes, um, yeah. and it's just gone. Um, but <laughs> this now is fun. We're all just sliding stuff across the floor until it blows up. Uh, so yeah. So that's. That's it. There's That's one the, way to do it. You can just walk in and, and grab it. There's nothing that you can see in your way. I I, I take the, the raffle tickets. I slap them on the table in front of the honey. And then I, and I say, boys, let's get out of here. And then I, 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 I scoop up the honey. Like, does it fit in the tote bag or is it it's too big for that, right? Yeah, it's no, big. you're just going to have to carry it in your arms. All right. I say, boys, let's get to the Yukon. Like a Stanley Cup size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I right. look around for a special bamboo. Just I mean, in case, second prize. We can <laughs> back through the, through the, uh, so, the exhibit hall and pick some stuff up on the way out. <laughs> or we should just go. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I mean, if there's one, by, by one this thing we point, know about you, you can hear sirens coming from the fire department. More bad humans. As you um, are walking out of the room, you notice some just bits of bamboo on the ground that got blown up by the... Shit. <laughs> oh, no. No! <laughs> oh. I mean, you, you could still eat it. I, just... I, I mean, I do eat it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I reach into the tote bag and I say, does anyone need to top up before we, we get out of here? I'm plenty bare already. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm doing all right. All right, all right. Then I'm gonna drink it to go back to three and three. Okay. And you are out at this point. Yeah, I'm at it. That was the last honey that I had. So. Now, are there any uh, windows or exterior uh, exits we can see from this room? Uh, so there like an emergency there, exit or anything? There definitely was a window in this room. The window has been blown <laughs> out. Um, but it is a, like a human-sized window. I would say that you probably couldn't make it through the window. Um, you do know that at the end of the hall is an exit. So if you wanted to go outside easy, you could go that way. But if you wanted to go back should, to where the, go the, way we came. the vehicle is, you could go back the way you came. Um, you could also probably make a safe assumption that you could probably go up here and find a door to the back. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go like outside maybe. whatever we do until we get to the Yukon. Because there'll be there'll be emergency responders outside. So let's stay to the Yukon. All right, yeah, I, I say we uh, take this closest path leading uh, north that would uh, take us back to that back wall at least. Uh, unless anybody needs to dip onto the floor for anything, we got the biggest prize. We, we shouldn't get we shouldn't get too greedy. Yeah. This will last a while. 
we got the we got the best honey. We get, we can always come back and kill more humans for the other honey. Let's oh, we, I was like, oh, we are gonna come more kill more humans, right? Like that's that's later, right? I I just yeah, assumed yeah. that was the plan. We, we yeah, just gotta let the heat die down. Exactly. Yeah, we have a, we have a snack, take a nap back to the sanctuary, then we get in the Yukon yeah. and we go find something else to steal. This this is one meal. There's like one. <laughs> There's like one thing, and then we gotta do this, another heist. For us, this was a Tuesday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's go. To be fair, we also acquired a car and a gun that most bears don't have, so maybe that'll make the next heist easier. <laughs> All right. So are you you so uh, like fire department? Everything would roll up in the front. Um. So you're there's nobody around. So you you can make easy egress to your to the Yukon. Um, on the way to the Yukon, we come across the vending machine. Does the vending machine have bit of honey in it? Uh, I would. Okay, so you pass another vending machine, not the one that you threw. Okay, you're does, going does it have bit of honey in it? It definitely has bit of honey in it. Oh, we smash it. I want a goddamn bit of honey. honey. It would have sucked it with all kinds of. And I, and I give candy. Pipe a, cola, a, a, a Coca Cola. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> I get it. Just like crush it, just eat it like an apple. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Bite out of the can. I don't know how this shit works. Yeah, it's always with the bottle in the commercial, I know. <laughs> all right. So uh do you all get in the car? Yeah. Yes. I yeah, I think we're yeah, I think we get in the car. Okay, I'm not gonna make you roll again to start it because you already know how to do that. So back to the nature preserve. So you, you, I, I, I look over at, at Pipe and I say, "You use our navigational ability to get this fuck out of here." <laughs> no, we still got GPS too. So okay, but you don't know where you came from. <laughs> mm, this is a good. point. I mean, yeah, that's why I'm asking him to use his navigational ability to just like retrace the steps of the yeah, reverse. So I, I would say if you do that, um. I'm going if, to if say I that's can? a bear roll. Yeah, because that would be all of my... Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. Your, that's your bear ability. My directional smell, you yeah. know, all of it. Everything we learned about. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no swimming, though. That might have helped. Yeah, a one. There's still time. A so, game where the one is the best roll you can get. My so, kind of game. So that's a success, and you go back to 3-3 three, three because that is a... Goes off without a hitch. That's great. All right, yeah. so so you guys are Bears driving in your blood. vehicle, and you're you're heading back to the the reserve the preserve. No problems, nothing else. Um, you hear a call coming through your um your screen. Uh, the like big <laughs> dumb iPad thing in the car. Yeah, give it a tap to accept. All right, tap to accept. <laughs> so you accept it, and it's. Jake Johnson with a brand new top hat that looks way nicer than the one that he put down. Oh, it's a oh. it's a FaceTime. That was and, his backup hat. And he says, I bet you're wondering how I got into your system. I bet you're wondering what is that Ultra Mega Honey? Maybe you should have a look. Uh, I, I, I'm in the backseat. I'll go in like the back and <laughs> open the lid. <laughs> okay, so you open the lid and there's nothing in there. <laughs> and he 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 cackles and says, "Yes, complete waste of your time and a complete waste of my money." <laughs> I just wanted people to know how much I love honey. And um <sighs> And how much I hate you, Blurpheus. And he takes off his face and reveals <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> no! I, was like, I, I, I shouted in the screen, I killed you! <laughs> <laughs> I have and, to focus on the road, but I'm also very bad. <laughs> and and, and <laughs> you, you see, um, as, as you look like a little closer, you see that um, his his eyes aren't human eyes; they're robot eyes. <laughs> He's That's also a robot. I'll, I'll kill you again. I'll kill you dead. This raises a lot of questions. <laughs> a fierce. I just I take a bite out of the car seats. <laughs> uh, and he's eating the leather seats. 
So, so you guys have successfully gotten away with two things of honey and a honey bowl. And, wow. and a robotic nemesis. And a robotic, <laughs> and a, ro a cyborg nemesis. I, I put my. No one knows that this giant honey pot was a trap. <laughs> Who could have seen yeah. this coming? Cut, cut you the say honey trap, Bob Dole. <sighs> what was that, Adam? Did you just call this a honey trap, Bob Dole? No, I said <laughs> yeah. no one could have known that this giant honey pot was a trap. God damn it. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, I put together a different piece of narrative. I don't know if, if it was really what we were thinking of. I mean, and even up to the last second, it would have worked. But there was a tax document on the computer. And in the hallway, he said he was giving away the honey for tax purposes. I still thought it was going to be an empty, ta empty honey jar. But because it was like a giant tax fraud or something. Right, but we we already determined that because I needed to make that joke that the tax document was really yeah. just a bunch of nested folders porn. hiding porn. I mean, it could also be tax fraud. <laughs> Some of the folders really do have tax My documents. porn slash tax tax fraud folder. <laughs> they do go together. Sorry, I I was trying to figure a way to work Timothy in this whole time. That was, was so like, good. That was the best the end. ending. We got to twist. the end, and uh, I was like, you know what? If they don't kill him, that's what's going to happen. We're going. <laughs> Be a very quiet car ride. What was, that guy's, like, so... what was that guy's name? What was the grizzly man's name? I don't remember. Back well, the real I person, <laughs> Adam. I forgot your name. I had to go look it up. <laughs> grizzly, <laughs> grizzly man name. What was his name? Timothy, Timothy Tread Treadwell. All right. Treadwell. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you murdered him, but they rebuilt him into a cyborg body. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> His oh, last words God. before no, being eaten no. by a bear. Uh, I googled it, and apparently his last words were, "Get out here! I'm getting killed." <laughs> yeah, that guy, that guy's dead. <laughs> yeah, did uh, not. Oh, that, that was, was well. That was the I'm dumbest so glad thing. I rolled grizzly. It didn't actually occur to me until we were telling our backstories. That was the <laughs> dumbest were... thing we have ever done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honey heist in general. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, that was, we should have done more than the common anyway. one we did. What you considering say? We, uh, considering we were bears, we sure managed to overthink things anyway. <laughs> Dole, what did you yeah, say? Oh, oh we, we did that goblin one shot. That was pretty dumb, too, but this may have been dumber. This, this was... Uh, hey, did you guys have fun? I, That's all yeah, this is, this yeah, this is a lot of fun. I appreciate fun. it. This is, this, this, is a good, this is a good This is a good reference. I appreciate all the prep that you put into it.